and that should be us. Well, good evening, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Hang on, we've got no game audio. There we go. <laughs> that would have been awkward if I spent the entire time with no game audio. I have actually done that before. So can you guess what game we're playing today? So yeah, um, if you've not seen this before, this is Banjo-Kazooie, um, one of my favourite games of all time, one of the games that I have been speedrunning since I was very, very young, although I'm not very good at it, um, and today we are going to be... Um... <laughs> hey, how are you doing, man? Good to see you. Um, sub one hour, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be targeting sub five hours, so um, we'll see. Maybe I'll do a sub one hour just out of the blue, who knows. Um, my best time on this game ever is around about four hours. I, I was able to do it under four hours when I was a kid, and then I haven't been able to do it under that for a long time. Uh, no FFM means no furnace fun moves, that's a speedrunning thing. Um, it means it's a glitch that allows you to start the game with all the moves in advance, but it's it takes quite a while to set up and I haven't done that, so I'm just basically playing the game organically. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be playing through the game basically glitchless, um, which is the, the way that I've always done it. Um, the last time, this is the Xbox version, the last time I did the Xbox version was a stream last autumn, um, where I was just playing casually, and I ended up getting a PB, I ended up getting about 4 hours 15 minutes, which is, I believe, currently 40th on the Xbox leaderboards um, on speedrun.com uh, for, um, uh, let's see, is this it? Yeah, so that's that, this is the one that I did, um, what, the record for 100% is just under 2 hours, um, I think it's about 1 hour 58 or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I managed to get a PV on this, this very save file. Um, last year, just out of the blue. I'm not expecting to do that today because I, I can't remember any of the routing or anything like that. Um, there's another one where it was just over five hours. I think that was the that was one I did earlier this year. Um, and there's another one that was four hours 14. So I'm going to delete the one that uh, has at least... Uh... Yeah, um, but it's it's hugely optimised. It's This game is uh, really, really... Uh... Um, really, really optimised. It's, it's, there's so many runners this game. Anyway, I'm going to get started because I'm targeting 5 hours or less and it's already 8pm. So uh, yeah, we're going to be here for a while. So I'm going to get my live split ready. I uh, don't know if that's actually on the screen or not. Here we go. Okay. So. Uh, shall I get that? Yeah. I'll, um, yeah, that should be alright. So. Uh, I can explain more as we go. But 3, 2, 1, go. Oh yeah, I press start with it. There's a, there's a delay. <laughs> right, we'll skip the uh, skip the intro and we're off. So the only thing about the Xbox version compared to the N64 version is you can't skip the text. So we're gonna get we're gonna get to hear all um all, all of Kazooie's sarcasm, which is uh, <laughs> which is always great. So technically, I, I did the speedrun of this on N64 uh, back in the spring, but that took about five and a half hours because the thing about that is that if you die, uh, you lose all your notes. Press B if you think you're already good enough. Uh, oh, B. B's in a different place on the Xbox controller. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you at 1 a.m. Okay, so we start off with getting the, uh... Start looking... We're supposed to be able to shortcut up here. There we go. So we're getting six honeycombs to Spiral Mountain to start off with. It does amaze me that the, um... The Smash Brothers version of this track is so triumphant and so fast because the uh, the normal version is just so mellow. But yeah, that's two. It's B. This one. Come on. 
thing I have to remember is that you can use R to swim really quickly around corners, which I always forget about. But yeah, this is one of my favourite games of all time. I adore this game so much. So yeah, if, um, if any speedrunners are watching, they're probably not going to see many of the normal speedrunning tricks because I can't remember them. I'm just basically playing through my favourite game as fast as possible. And I, I do know a few of the speedrunning tricks and a few of the routes, but not well enough because, like I say, this is the first time I've played this game in like six months, so... Imagine how quick I'd be if I knew the buttons, yeah. I don't know how, as a kid, I managed to beat the game in under four hours. Because I can't do it now. There's a, no. There's a way to jump over bottles there that I couldn't remember. Okay, here we go. So, unlike what you'll see in most speedrun videos, I'm going to have to go and learn all the moves. Uh, can I skip this there? Yeah, okay. But yeah, I was thinking about uh, what I was going to stream tonight, and I was thinking about starting Pikmin 2 as my next retro game, but I just decided I wanted to have a go on my favourite game again. Uh, did I miss a segment? I don't think so. Nope, I've got six. So you start with five. I've already got six. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, Mark. Right. Yeah, so I got one up a tree. I got one on top of a log. I got one by breaking open the rocks. I got one by killing the cauliflower. I got one under the water and I got one at the waterfall. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is learn the talent shot. The other thing that we need to learn compared to a lot of the speedruns is I need to remember to collect all the... Uh, I, remember I need to collect all of the mumbo tokens because I... Um, can't skip any of the transformations, so I need to collect all the, mem the mumble tokens in the game. So the first thing we're going to do is le learn the talent drop. So we need to collect five mumble tokens to transform into the termite. Talent drop! A lot of trombone in this game. Grant Kirkhope loved a bit of trombone. Right, we're off. <laughs> you must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress throughout the witch's lair. So we need to go up here next because we need to learn the beat buster before we head down towards the gorilla. Um, I mean, you didn't get a jiggy for learning the move. Uh, the jiggy was just there. It just so happens that the uh, move was next to it. Ha 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 ha! 
Make my way. Okay. We'll get these two hot. head down because now we can do everything down in this bottom area and then we'll head back up to the hut. So yeah, this level is relatively straightforward. A good speedrunner can complete this level in like seven minutes. Come on, land on the thing. There we go. I see what you mean, but this is also, um, it's the tutorial level, so they just want to, one of the things that you need to learn is to collect jiggies, so you're almost collect, collecting the jiggies almost as a tutorial in itself. And there's another one. Dun, dun. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. And then that's all the moves already. So when I do, when I used to do speedruns of this as a kid, I would uh, get all the Cheeto pages at the same time, which is a good 15-20 minutes extra work that you have to do. So I was actually even faster at this than, than norm, what normal speedrunners would do. Oh, for God's sake, I fell off the... Yeah, that's a good start. I can't remember how to do the uh, thing on the Xbox. Okay, so now we need to hit the whip switch. Another mumble talking. We're still missing two. I think there's one in his hut. So yeah, it seems a bit daft, I know, to do a speedrun of a game that I haven't played in six months, but I've been playing this game for 22 years, so... This one and uh, Pikmin were two of the games that I speedrun when I was a kid. Well, I didn't really speedrun Pikmin in the normal sense. I did the um, what's known as the Nine Day Challenge. Oh, there's one. There's one in the the Termite Hut. I forgot about that. We can do that. We can also miss. in here. That's four. And then there should be a fifth in Mumbo's hut. So then we should hopefully be done with Mumbo's mountain after that. Pinjo! Okay. 
Shrinkers don't do the last one because then you can get this thing. It's already at number eight. Ah, there's the fifth one. <laughs> I'm trying to do a side flip. I've been too, playing too much Super Mario recently. I'm trying to do a side flip. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know who you are, Mumbo. Come on. Hot boy. I love Kazooie's nicknames. Mando has plenty tokens. Stand on skill and press X to see mighty Mumbo magic. We press the we press the first one. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Ooh la la, ooh la la, la boogan. So there's 12 notes left, 6 of them are in the water, and 6 of them are in the um, Termite Island. So the next transformation is in Bubble Glitch Swamp, so we've got 3 levels in which to get some more Mumbo tokens. Hey, where'd you get those cool shorts? I want them! I you know they're shorts. Termites don't have... <laughs> I do love the transformations in this game. I mean, they're even better in Banjo 2 what with the, um, the TNT detonator and the, um, the washing machine and things, but... It's one thing that Mario doesn't have, is transformations. Dun dun! Ba -dum -ba -dum -bum. We must the uh, end of level dance for getting all um, all ten G's because we've got the uh, we're in the termite version. So that's it. Got ten jiggies and a hundred notes, and we're off. Camera, come on. And that's Mumbo's mountain done. Level one, off and running. Dun dun. Yeah, 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 come on. So yeah, a good speedrunner would be able to, um, on the N64 version, they'd be able to hop up that mountain as Kazooie, and you wouldn't need to, um, you wouldn't need to turn into the termite at all. So we managed to open the note door there without having to talk to bottles. So that'll save a little bit of time because the door opened while he was talking to us. Do we still have to get the um, the dance though? All right, off to level two. Oh, we need to talk to her as well. Bottles exposition, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda, Brentilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets. We're not going to do all of these, but we're going to do enough to hopefully help us in the final um, furnace fun. Thanks if you'd like to hear them. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug flavoured toothpaste. She also washes her hair with engine oil. And she gets her clothes from the trash can. One advantage of doing this run every six months and only every six months is that I don't remember what she told me last time, so I can just try and kind of remember what she told us this run. Yeah, yeah, come on. The unskippable text is the one sort of flaw of the Xbox version compared to the N64 version, but I did my first N64 run uh, in spring. I did my first N64 run in uh, a long, long time, um, and I kept dying and losing all my notes, so that was sort of not a good thing. Uh, do, I not, do I write it all down? No, I don't. I just sort of try and remember it. Because if you get it wrong, it's not the end of the world, and I believe you can get up here and jump in faster 
that way. Way, I'm going in. Best music in the game? I think so. Certainly the catchiest. Oh, come on, I've got a shark after me. There he is. Get in there. Honestly, this fast turning makes the swimming so much better. And it's something that I didn't really know about until much later. Why am I... Get out of here. So once again, we need to go and learn the moves from bottles, which is something that normal speedrunners don't do, because that's what um, FFM is. It's having all the moves in advance. So we have to go up and talk to him here. No, 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 no. Just shut up, bottles, and tell me to move. The other thing about this game is that Kazooie does all the work. Like, she does all the running, she does all the attacking. Andrew does very little. Now, can I get in the bucket from here? No, I can't. This is completely not the way that speedrunners do it, but I'm just sort of going where I can think to go. I mean, what Bottle's going to say is like, well, you are missing some health, but not enough. I'm not going to help you yet. You know? Which is probably the reason why Kazooie didn't help him when he was getting killed in the next game. Dun dun. Number one, and we're off. So let's go get the other ship part. And get our flying ability. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. I think it's time for me to fly. Bit of audio speedwagon there for you. Because every stream there's a bit more 80s music in it. Jinjo! Oh, get off. Oh, I missed some. Get it, there we go. Okay, wait, just let me... Get in there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, forgot these were here. Okay, can I have the token, please? Oh, okay, okay, I'll get the treasure. Kazooie, Kazooie. There we go. Can't remember how many tokens you need for uh, for a bubble glue. Yeah, yeah, fine. Hey, give, give me his treasure. There we go. Possibly my second favourite vocal sound effect in the game, his, his voice. It's just nothing but burps. The best one obviously being uh, Logo the Toilet, who is, is just... his voice is just disgusting, isn't it? 
So, I'm going to see if I can grab this note without actually landing on the platform. Nope. Okay, I'll go. Let's go get this thing. Dun, dun. Great camera angle there. When people ask me why I like uh, Banjo Kazooie more than Mario 64, I just point to the all the characters, all the dialogue, all the jokes. It's just. For me, there's nothing like it. It's the best of its genre. And yeah, that's not how you're meant to get up there, but it's the easiest way to get up there. Those are the only three, and then we need the uh, Jinjo tree. Where's the Jinjo tree? There's a Jinjo tree around here somewhere. I saw it on my way up. There he is. Games like this are quite rare, yeah. Well, back in 1998, they were quite rare where that was originally. Uh, now. Can I jump down here? You're supposed to jump down and go to the next thing. I can't remember what the next thing is. So we're here anyway. I haven't heard the um normal versions of these tracks in so long. I've been listening to just the Smash Bros. ones for so many years. Okay, there's a honeycomb piece round about here. Talking behind him first. <laughs> Cheeky bird. Oh, come on. I, I beaked him. I'm on one health. Bloody hell. guys without dying. There we go. We'll pick up the Jiggy Kazooie. There we go. Do, 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 do. Nothing more in here, is there? No? Alright. Out we go. Where am I going? I've got no idea. So I guess we'll go back over here and get on the big flight pad. Okay, can I get these three notes? Do I don't have to do this again. Yeah, look at that. 
can I pick up this jiggy without landing on the platform? No, I can't. Oh well. Where did the crab go? We killed it! Vaporized. It split into those two smaller crabs that you saw. Oh, I thought I... Stupid camera didn't help me there. Alright. I'm not doing that because that's slow. That's already the fifth Jinjo, wow. You've been awarded a gamer pick. Lucky you. Okay, the mumbo token on this one? No, it's feathers. I'm already on half health, jeez. Can't afford to start being so reckless. Do, 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 do. All the clues if you're looking for gold. Come on, cooperate. I've already been up there. I might need that. Oh yeah. Humble token. No, no, no. level already. Half an hour. Five hours might be a bit optimistic for this run, but we'll, we'll, we won't know until we get further into it. Okay, and then there's six there. We've got the extra honeycomb piece to get as well. I think this is the last, uh, last jiggy. Never find me now. Find all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Yeah, I know, Snacker. I know. Like, even the shark has a name. Just wait for him to dissolve into the water. Ah, cheese and crackers. Just wait there. Bowed too early. There we go. And we're done. We've got 100 notes. That's the first two levels done within near enough half an hour. Only seven more to go. Did 
to get the mobile talking in the sky. I did. Um, I got that from the shock jump pad. Yeah, I need to go in here anyway because I need to activate the cauldron. You've activated a magic cauldron! Can you get up there please? There we go. I mean, I've already got nine. I managed to get eight in Treasure Trove Cove alone. Oh, I need to go activate the stupid painting. I think there is a way to get up here without needing the shock jump pad, but I can't remember it. That's why I'm not expecting to beat my PB today, because... Yeah, it's just been too long. But, this, this is good fun anyway. I like to set myself these many challenges from time to time. I haven't played Banjo-Tooie in a while. I know that um, uh, Smash the Pieces are about to move on to Banjo-Tooie as their um, game to represent Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, they've just finished Majora's Mask. Camera's not working with me here. There we go. Okay, and then we go. Actually, this this level's music is pretty good as well. Oh, almost had it. Nope. <laughs> Off to a fantastic start. I will just go the long way round. Uh, camera, come on. Coming up on one of the scariest moments in the early game. Missing a note, good start. Hey Clanker, how you doing man? Okay, I'm gonna quickly surface because I don't trust myself. First thing we've got to do is dive into the depths. And raise this boy to the surface. The fact that this is level 3 and it's also already asking you to do quite terrifying stuff involving diving to the depths. I've got to swim through this key three times. Thank God for fast turning and swimming. Look at that. And then hopefully by the time this happens, Galoop should have made his way around and he'll be releasing air bubbles right next to us. We can just get the notes in the Jinjo and head to the surface. I can't remember the order to do all this stuff and I normally just go sort of into the... I don't really have any sort of coherent order for it. Hi Galoop. Yeah, I want to, but the camera's not playing ball. Four. Can I have six, please? Go. Oh, that's five. That'll do. But the way the music changes in this game is really, really cool. This was the first game to have sort of dynamic music, 
basically what Grant Kirkhope did was he has all he has the underwater version, the underwater section, and the um, uh, is that all of them? Okay. Um, the underwater section and the overall water section playing at the same time, and it just fades in and out depending on uh, what's required at that moment. So there's no changing between tracks. It's all all the tracks are playing once, just some are muted at different times. Right. That's done. That was relatively sharpish. I don't think I've ever done it that quickly before. The um the key turning. Because this is basically the first speedrun I'm doing that's got proper um screw it. This is the first speedrun I'm doing where I can actually have sharp swimming, so hopefully we'll save a bit of time there. We can do sharp turns. I've never really thought of that before. There should be a, either a Jiggy or a Jinjo in here. Jiggy, nice. Oh crap. Badger's crashing into the wall because I'm crashing into my microphone. I spent a lot of time just singing the title theme along to the uh, to the music. Uh, okay, so we'll climb up onto Clanker for the minute, I think. Oh no, hang on, that's uh, is that a shock jump pad? It is a shock jump pad. Okay. But there will be times where it looks like I know loads about this game, and there will be other times where it looks like I know nothing because I'm like, is this over here? I think this is over here. Oh wait, it is over here. Okay, I'm not being an idiot. Can I time this right? Okay. Careful. Cool. Ba -ba -dum -bum. Frame rate there, what happened there? I'm down to two health as well. Gotta be careful. We'll be back in here in a bit. Get our one move though. Thankfully, you don't have to go out the way for this one. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna go back to you. By now, you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. Cause after ring, you're my wonder wing. And he's going to teach us the invulnerability move, and then we're not going to use it. Because we're just going to do this. You can't actually just go through that. For some reason, if you walk along the seam there, it doesn't hurt you. Just nip in, get the notes. And then, yeah. Invulnerability? Who needs invulnerability? Do this hoop thing now. Hey, get on the box. That's one. This time limit's pretty tight, but as long as you don't make up and do any major cock ups, you should be fine. That's a major cock up. Feathery flap through these two. Yeah, so we should end with about 10 seconds to spare. Mm -hmm. 
Dun dun, a joke is ooh eh. Okay, so one of these has the uh, ginger in it, and the other one doesn't. I think this is the ginger one. I'm wrong! Okay, don't go out. Oh, you went out! Alright. Well, we'll come back in there at some point. Uh, can I get on your wing, please? Finn, whatever it's called. Still got all the ones on his back to do. Oh, it's too high now. There we go. Dun dun. Banjo Kazooie. Flanker's teeth hurt now. Yeah, I know. We'll get to that. I don't really have any sort of splits um, because the route that uh, Live Split uses is the speedrun route, which obviously I don't do because I don't. No, 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 don't you. Oh! Alright, we'll come back for those notes later. Let's go into here then. So we jigsaws us, fight us you must. I'm just here for the notes. Oh, fine, I'll fight you. Uh, Kazooie, can you go away, please? That's two. Go on, where's your friend? There you are. Come on. Do you mind? There we go, that's what I wanted. Beaten snippet mutants are we yours as prize. Normally I like to have finished the first three levels before the arrow. These are the easy levels. Okay, so there are some notes in here. Seventy-seven, I believe. Is there? A, is this up here where the um? No, the extra honeycomb pieces are way over there. Okay. Uh, oh no, there it is. Yeah, I was right. It's number five. Where's number six? Oh no, I know where the other one is. Oh, I already claimed up here, so nothing for me. No, I, I claimed up. I went up the wrong side. That's what I did. Now, oh come on, you th you hurt yourself from there, banjo. Now, can you pick up the notes, please? There we go. So, there is a trick to get the uh, thing from here. No, I'm not going to do it. But there we've got an extra honeycomb piece. Yeah, so there's meant to be, there, there's a way that you can sort of backflip where you fall in and then flip flap your way back out again so you can land back on the pipe, but I think I've only ever achieved it once. And the number of times it would, number of attempts it would take me to actually get it right, it'd be faster for me to just do this. Here. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. I thought that was a jiggy. Okay. Well, I'm an idiot. Uh, so yeah, that's the. I think that's the blue. No. Have I already been in there? 
I think I have. That was where the jiggy was. Uh, let's go back up and get those ones before I forget. We haven't done Clanker's teeth yet. We haven't got the blue ginger from inside the underwater tunnel, which I believe is on Clanker's right. Oh, I can get that. Mumbo. See, Treasure Troll Cove has loads of Mumbo tokens, and Clanker's cavern hardly has any. Uh, why am I diving down here? This one in here. That's the uh Yep, there he is. I should have got you last because then I would have got the jiggy and I wouldn't have to do the um the dance. Oh well. Where is the pink one? Oh the pink one's in back inside uh Clanker, of course he is. Well we're gonna have to go back and say Clanker now, so we'll get all that. Yeah, and then the last one's going to be the ginger. So, we're sorted. I can't get that mumble token before anyone asks. Well, I could, but it would involve getting through Clanker's teeth again. Um... Ow. So, these should be the last five notes. Damn it! No, 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 no. I'm missing two notes and I don't know where they are! Ah! Oh god, this is, this is what I was worried about. Are we on some platform somewhere? the last two notes, but that's a mumbo token in there. Might as well get that. Oh, that's annoying. I need to find these. Where would they be? Ah, they're up there, that's where they are. I knew there was one area I hadn't been to yet. Okay, so we didn't lose too much time, because I still have to do this anyway. Chama, work with me. The double jump just has so much more movement compared to 3D Mario. Uh, okay, is it faster to drown or to leave? Uh, it's, it's more humane to leave. It's probably about the same, actually. Ideally, if I'd got the hundred notes, I would have drowned myself after getting the ginger, and then that would have just taken us right back to the entrance. But as it is, we'll just do this. Oh, for God's sake! Okay, you know what? Just kill me. Just kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. 
first death. Yeah, we know, Grunty, we know. We should now have 300 notes and 30 jiggies. So let's go to my least favourite level in the game, Bubble Blue Swamp. Grunty wears a reinforced girdle under that repulsive dress of hers. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Leg Chomper. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful. Broomstick Boys, okay. There's got to be a fast way to get out of Talon Trot so you can beat Bust. Don't know what it is though. Having to wait for Kazooie to put Banjo away is really, really slow. In fact, I'm wondering whether I just skip Bubble Boom Swamp, go do Freeze Easy, and Gobi, and come back with the Speed Shoes. I have to go open up Freeze Easy anyway. I mean, what do I need uh, in Bubble Whip? I just need the waiting bits. Do I need the waiting bits for... I, I need the waiting bits for Gobi. Okay. Freeze easy anyway, so we'll go this way. Yeah, we're gonna do bubble blimp, bubble gloop later, because then I can do Mr. Vile with the speed shoes. I have done it without the speed shoes before, but I just feel safer doing it with them. It's not that far out of the way either. My fat old sister's favourite sport is loogie flicking. Although she's dim, she attended Cauldron College. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is performing a scary striptease. Do Americans know what a loogie is? Is that an international thing? There's so much of this game has British humour in it, sometimes I wonder what actually... how much of it translates. I mean, most of it does, because it's a beloved game, but yeah. Okay, we're going to go in here, we're going to learn the uh, boots, and then we're going to immediately leave. Mm. Thankfully, it's right at the start. These are the waiting boots. Chicken Legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, Chicken Kazooie. <laughs> And we will immediately leave, because I don't like this place. Go back here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I have enough is the question. Of course I do. This is 100%. Now, in my previous 100% speedruns, I would go and get the Cheeto pages as well, but that's not required to get onto the leaderboards. You just have to get 100 notes and 100 jiggies and finish the game. So, uh, we're not going to be doing it. Despite what years and years of childhood speedrunning has taught me. Yeah, we're going to die, I know. Just let me get through and out. No! Oh. oh well. Do we end up back at the. Uh... Yeah, damn it. Okay. Well, at least we've got full health now. Still got nine lives though. So does that do, do you not lose lives when you die in the um so, Yeah, do you not lose lives when you die in um Grunty's Lair? Anyway, bye Swamp, we'll come back for you later. 
Really weird that those buzz bombers appear in um, Spyro Mountain in Smash Brothers. Hey Stanzer, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, no worries, man. Have a hope you enjoy the stream. Cheers. My lazy sister often sleeps on a pile of treasure. The dirty hag. I mean, I'd sleep on a pile of treasure if I could. The only thing she's ever won was the dirtiest undies competition at witch school. She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, posing in her long johns. Your energy is low. Every my energy is low every single time I talk to someone. They must think, geez, can you not keep full health for one minute? Okay, count up on our first hour. We've got 30, we've got um, one third of all the levels done. And almost one third of all the jiggies. Because we must be at three, 33 by now. Okay, now. Uh, is it in here? So we're going to use one of the few glitches in this run. I know the categories might glitch this, but let's see if we can do this. So maybe I can't remember how to do that. There's there's a jiggy in there, and you can you can click it, you can pick it up without going through the door. But uh, I'm having I'm struggling there. Maybe it's an N64 only trick. Who knows? Pretty sure it's not, but you know. Uh, I've got 300 notes, so I can't get there. Yeah, it's about... We're going to freeze easy. We'll do a couple of jiggies. We'll get the. Um, uh, the beat bomber, and then we'll immediately leave and we'll do gobies. Do, do, do. I might as well just collect these because this isn't uh, this isn't N64 banjo. You can collect these, and you can you don't have to worry about having to collect them again. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to save the Twinklies. Where are the Twinklies? Protect us from the Twinkly Munchers as we hop across to our tree. If enough of us get out there, we can light the tree for you. So, I believe you can just keep them off screen. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that only works on the N64. Okay, we'll do it the proper way then. I don't know how many of the exploits that I've seen are only on the N64 version. Because <laughs> normally, if you keep those off screen, they don't appear, and all of the. Um... Oh, come on, my rhythm's been thrown off now. Yeah, doesn't seem to be working on this one, but oh well. That should be them. You don't get many Christmas themed levels in games, do you? Okay, now we've got to fly through the star. No, no, that's the wrong button, you idiot. This is the part I always struggle with, and one of my speedruns recently I had to do this two or three times. I should have got the beat bomber first, because then I could just beat bomb my way through this star. Oh well. Getting through it is fine. It's the turning round. Except we can do the... 
can do the R for sharp turning again, just like with uh, swimming. I didn't. I never. never I've never realized that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Banjo gets sent miles away by the ice physics. You know, we could probably just do a whole bunch of Freeze Easy, go to Gobi, and come back and do the rest of Freeze Easy. Because this is an N64 Banjo, we can go away and come back and only and do half the notes. I might just do that because I can't do anything else. Uh, you haven't heard the um, uh, someone did a full orche orchestrated version of the Banjo Kazooie soundtrack. Uh, his name's Blake Robinson. He does the full. It's called the Banjo Kazooie Symphony. Uh, the entire thing is brilliant, but the uh, the Freeze Easy Peak version is phenomenal. Um, it, it's a proper sort of Christmassy sounding thing. Uh, it's so good. That entire that entire album is amazing. We're we'll playing a bit of that as my um, as my outro tonight. Okay, cool. Uh, actually, what am I doing? I'm in flight. Go to the top of the snowman. Uh, actually, while I'm here. Am I going to have enough feathers? Yep, snowman craps out a jiggy. We'll get that one in a bit. In the cube! Oh no, the health gone off the camera. Is this as far out as the camera goes? That's annoying. Very weird that of all the songs to have the original version in Smash Bros, this was the one they chose. Like, it doesn't fit Spiral Mountain as a stage at all. It's got sleigh bells and... yeah. Oh yeah, there's a jiggy in there, I forgot about that. I believe there's a ginger on the uh, on the brush. There is. Whee! No, no, no! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh, he went and fell off, and I've got no feathers, and I'm dead. Wow. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's just go to Gobies. We'll go to Gobies, we'll come back. Where's the Gobies? Uh... Oh, it's behind the note door, isn't it? I haven't got 50 notes yet, I don't think. 326. Okay, we're going to do some freeze easy. <laughs> we're rewriting on the fly, people. Oh my god. I'm not a pro speedrunner, just FYI. This is, uh, yeah. I, I love this game. I love this game so much. Hey, Boggy. Oh no, I don't want to talk to you again. I need red feathers now. Actually, I don't need red feathers. I suppose I can just climb up the um, scarf. 
probably what I should do actually because I need those notes anyway. Where's the other present? The green one's there. It's in the tree, isn't it? Oh, I hope I don't have to do that again. And I didn't get the, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do the, um, uh, the Sir Slushes again, because I didn't get the Jiggy from between the snowman's legs, so it's all going terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, well, the tree is lit. Oh, hang on, I'll get that. Well, I forget. That's the witch switch that I always forget. Because you're always in the middle of doing something else while you're getting it. Oh, for God's sake, he ducked. I mean, it's some good hitbox porn that he... Ow. It's going well, lads. It's going well. The PB is still going well. Uh, right. You're supposed to aim Banjo's head, I'm pretty sure. Line up with Banjo's head. Yeah, like that. Bumble token. I'll take that. Got 17. That should be more than enough for... Um... Oh, but we can get the walrus next, I think. I love how they stand still until you're close enough for them to actually render. Because in the um, N64 version, something they wouldn't appear because the draw distance wasn't good enough. And then they'd be stood still. And then... Um, uh, and then they would start moving as you got close to them. But because the draw distance has improved in the Xbox version... Oh, come on! He dodged out the way! Don't land on the hill. I've only got two feathers. I've got to do this. There we go. That should be it. Wait, did I get that? Maybe I did get that, Jiggy. Maybe I've just wasted my time. Oh, I'm out of feathers and I forgot. Climb up the scarf, and we'll uh, we shall dive bomb Boggy from up high. I have to get the Jinjo again, don't I? Thankfully, we didn't do very much before we died. So we're getting all of our feathers back, which is nice. Camera, come on. Work with me, camera. Ah, but there's notes around the top of the hat as well, isn't there? Yes, there is. And there's a present on the nose, so we'll have to go and get that as well. So, okay, back to the top of the snowman we go. Oh no, of course, this is the Xbox version. I don't have to collect the notes again. I've just been talking about that the whole damn time. What's wrong with me? Um, yeah, so that's what it is. I didn't have to do the Sir Slushes again because that was the jiggy that appeared on the hat. Whereas this is the one, the buttons, that appears between the legs. You'd think I'd know this game better. I've only played through it about... You know, 300 times or something. There we go, that's the one I didn't get. So we'll get that in a minute. We've just got to... Play a little sister sledge. Don't you dare, don't you dare fall down the scarf. Okay, come on, get on the sledge. There we go. Wow! 
By the way, see that sound effect? Whoa! That's the um, that's the voice they use for when uh, in Smash Brothers when Banjo gets sent flying off the top and gets sent into the background. They, they, he goes whoa, and it's the best thing. Dun, dun. Banjo Kazooie. Okay, let's go into the tree. Get the last present. Give the kids the presents. Take me to the kids, I'm the last one! Okay, so we've got enough notes to get into Gobi's Valley now. Just for safety's sake. Oh, I do have to do the stupid star again. Oh my god. I thought... Fine. I'm gonna have to hit the switch then. Yeah, it didn't count it. Damn it. So I do have to do this twice. That's irritating. Freeze Easy is normally one of my better levels as well. All those, le all those feathers that we just got inside the tree. At least I can beat bomb it now. Isn't that right, Banjo? I'll just fly through it again. You can actually land on the star and stop flying, so I have to be really careful here. Oh no, 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 no. Shall we? Climbing up a tree. Dun dun. I drop a zoo in. Talking before they respawn. Listen to how the music changes. There's a sad igloo music and there's happy igloo music. Now Grant Kirkhope didn't need to do that. He could have just done one, but he decided to do sad music and happy music for that one room in the one game. Uh, so, done that. We've got enough. Let's go to Gobies. But you know what? Let's get this, the jiggy here while we're at it. Actually, we can't because we don't have the speed shoes. I wonder how fast my time would be if I actually plotted out the route and knew what I, what I was doing and where I was going every time. Oh, I forgot to do the bow. I get the one between the snowman's legs. No, I didn't. Damn it. <laughs> We're going to have to do that again. Oh my god. I suck at this game. Because normally you'd pick that one up when you're doing the walrus race. Uh, and I just decided, screw it. Luckily, it's just hitting the buttons, so it's not too bad. 
But yeah, that was pretty bad of me to forget that. Okay, this is probably my second least favourite level in the game. Grunty's best friend at witch school was the awful Sweaty Betty. Sweaty Betty! When relaxing, she usually reads Warty Girls Weekly. While sipping a glass of her favourite cold worm juice. Yeah, my energy's always low. I'm in my 30s. What do you expect? So, speed shoes. And then that's all the moves learned in the game. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet. I played banjo, you've now learned all the moves in the game. years. Well done, mortal. Two down. And two until I'm down. I need to get some health. I'll get some from the mummies inside this temple. Now this is apparently harder on the Xbox version than on the N64 version. Not entirely sure why. It doesn't help when you have to try and collect the notes. I don't think I've ever done this first try on one of these speedruns. Certainly, I don't think you can collect the notes. Yeah, so, I think in the N64 version it waits until the timer is completely, completely done before it starts shutting the door, whereas in the Xbox version it waits a couple of seconds uh, before the timer runs out. No, before the timer runs out it starts doing it, 
star sash on the door. So you pretty much have to be perfect. Right, it's very hard to get the notes and get them all together. Just made it. First thing to do as soon as you land in here, get the mumble token, because once you drain the water, you can't get it. Now 24. Dun, dun. And after all, you're my wonder wing. Oh. Also, look at that smiley face. Look at that lovely smiley face on the ground there. Uh, where's the, um, yeah, we'll do the statues now. Yeah. I think they, fe I, I, I do think they factor in the cutscene though, I don't think they're that cruel. He dove deep there. How did that happen? Here are the underwater theme from Colby's Valley. I don't recognize any of this. Hey, our second ginger, nice. Is that all the. No, it wasn't all the notes. I'm trying to think of the levels that don't have underwater bits in them. Bubble Glip Swamp doesn't. Uh, Mumbo's doesn't. Freezes does, Gobi does, Mad Monster Mansion doesn't. Okay, so three out of the six. Uh, I need to find Gobi. Just head into this pyramid, might as well. This is King Sandy, but. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. We do have to hit the witch switch because I tried to do the glitch and uh, failed, so we need to find the witch switch. The witch switch should be here. Yes, hello. Not that hard on me, is to be honest. Don't think there are any notes in it. No, oh, the bear survived. He's after the king's ancient relic. Yes, this gold feather. No, he's after the king's ancient relic. This mumbo token. No, he's after the king's ancient relic. This Jinjo. What's Jinjo doing in a tomb anyway? How long has that been in there? So if it was Grunty that kidnapped all the Jinjos and spread them throughout the lands, putting one in a tomb seems a little unfair. Thanks. These ones. Get the two on this banister before I forget. Oh, 
There's another one where the cutscene goes on. I missed a note there, I'm gonna have to remember that. Okay. I can never remember the layout of this. I believe there's two Jinjos up here. Nope. Feather. Feather, nice. Kazooie. Kazooie, thank you. No, the two gingers I think are here. Yeah, they're there. Banjo. Mambo. And there's the notes. It's the same every time, so you'd think I'd know what the order is by now. Mambo, there you are. Okay. Shall I take the magic carpet? No, I'm not going to get there in time. I'll take the ouchie carpet. I love Gobi. Gobi's so much fun. Such a tragic soul. And we don't do him any favours, do we? Dun, dun. Bajo Kazooie. So now we go down and use him to give the tree some water. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all the water I can get. Lovely water, Trunker feels great. I love that the tree's wearing a turban. Like, is that organic? Is that part of him? Or is he just fashionable? Or religious even? Don't mind me, I'm just a bear stealing your honey. Touch my honey and you'll be sorry. Well, I just touched your honey and I'm fine. Pretty well. Favourite stage? Click Clockwood, hands down. Always loved Click Clockwood. Uh, which is why it's really annoyed me that it's always right after Rusty Bucket Bay, the hardest stage in the game. But no, I, I adore Click Clockwood so much. Least favourite, uh, Bubble Glue. I don't like Mr. Vile. I don't like the snapping... Uh, I don't like the snapping piranhas. Uh, Rusty Bucket Bay is brutal to the point that it's not enjoyable sometimes, but it has an incredible score. Okay, I landed on the thing. And then, yeah, and then it sinks into the ground. Thank you. I, can, I mean, Rusty Bucket Bay is a lot of people's least favourites, but I, I think the soundtrack in that makes up for it. Whereas, um, and I like the the uh, 
aesthetic of it, whereas Bubble Glip Swamp, I just, I don't like Mr. Vile, I don't like the swamp, I don't like the, um, uh, the fact that the swamp water hurts you. It's just, a, it's, it's the one that I like the least. Uh, there it is, down there. Oh, there's a, a mumble token on the, on the nose of the Sphinx. Oh, I missed it. No, I'm just backflip and get that when, uh, when I'm entering the Sphinx. Why are they miles away? Can I get this? Can I get it now? Saying this right? No. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. What a bunch of jokers. Hey, Gobi. Hey, Gobi. How is it Gobin? Oh, I missed. Sorry. Just wanted to give you the hump. I'm leaving the stairs to find some peace and quiet. Yeah, it's quite ironic really because Gobi is a camel and he just gets humped over and over again. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Shall I wait for the magic carpet? Can't be arse gonna jump. So I think we've just got the Sphinx and then we're done, pretty much. Dun, dun. Bajon Kazooie. Yeah, that's it. So we've got the Sphinx, we've got the Gingos. So they're both inside the Sphinx. So, sorted. So you can actually, for God's sake, land on the cactus, you... I did get uh, health for that, but it landed inside the cactus. That's always helpful. There we go. So you can actually hit both nostrils <laughs> from one cactus. Make music so middly. <laughs> And yet, the Smash Brothers remix is kind of surf rock. It's a really, really unusual choice. I've got three health. Imagine if I fell off at this point. I died when I had like 99 notes. Hopefully there are three more notes on these carpets, and I can hear the last Jinjo! Let me on the carpet, thank you. Uh, notes are retained in this one, it would just be annoying if I had 99 notes and then I had to come all the way back in to collect one. So it's more from an editation rather than an actual, you know, run killer. Well, to be honest, we can kind of kill ourselves after this anyway, once we get the final jig. And that is our fourth level complete, and it's level six, because that's the way we go. Yeah, I don't know if, um... Because I'm dying, but my lives counter isn't going down, so I don't know if it is counting, like, if I actually got something like 12 lives and it just hasn't... It's just not showing them, or whether... I've somehow got infinite lives. I don't really understand that. I presume I've just got more than it can show, and it's counting the others, but, uh, yeah. 
I'm not entirely sure. Dun dun. Bajo Kazooie. Okay, let's head back to Freeze Easy. Now that we have the speed shoes. And then we can go and do Bubble Gloop, and then we never have to do that stupid level again. At least not until the next time I play this game. Get on the speed shoes video. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it now. Yeah. Pause screen, what do you mean pause screen? What do you mean to have a look at? Life totals will just be 9, because it'll just be whatever's on the screen. Yeah. I also feel that shattering of that um, uh, flight pad is a bit violent, you know? Like, it feels like if Banjo was standing on that when it shattered, he'd get some serious shards in his feet. Pick up the token, you idiot. Okay, before I forget, let's get this stupid button jiggy. For the third time, oh my god. How many feathers do I have? I've got seven feathers, that might not be enough. There's a bunch up here, though. Oh, you idiot. Two damage just for... Oh, Mumble Talker. Thank you. I do think this is one of the best soundtracks of any game ever. It's so catchy. And this was one of Grant, Grant Kirkwood's first, first original ones anyway, because he did Goldeneye before this, which is obviously, you know, he did a whole bunch of stuff with the James Bond theme. This was one of the first ones where he did all the music originally, and what a masterpiece to have as your first one. Oh god, I've got to get all the gingers again, don't I? I forgot about that. Oh no, I don't! I've collected all... Okay, so you keep the gingers as well, that's... Unexpected. So what ones am I missing? I'm missing the orange and the yellow. The orange is in the walrus cave, I know that. Where's the yellow one? Where's the yellow ginger in this place? In Mumbo's hut? Yeah, there's a Mumbo. There's a ginger, even. Yeah, it's not... <laughs> if it is annoying, I'll stop. But I just think it, like it's so much as a game title. It's so much fun to say, you know. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie. Like, I, I sing along. I, I, I sing it along to the actual music. Banjo gone all fat. Got big teeth. Her, her, her. Right, walrus boy. Oh, hang on, I need to... 
I need to defeat him again because he's on top of one of the honeycombs. You remember that. There are four behind Boggy, and I believe there are five near the walrus cave. So, ow. He's got all fat and long teeth. I need health, and I can't bust open the. Okay, there better be four notes by the. Uh... Okay, this took me a few tries, my last speed run. Get on the sled, you idiot. Great, now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Get your wahays ready in the chat. Wahoo! So, this fight has so much rubber banding in it. Best thing to do is just don't let, don't get too far ahead of them. Just keep up with them. And then you can uh, overtake them at the end. Wahey! Again, they don't really say wahey in America. So. Wahey! up the hill to overtake him. Screw it. Yeah, there are our final four notes. Hey, won that one nice and easy. You're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to raise someone my own size. That's a bit cheeky, because he thinks Banjo's his own size. The guy's enormous. <laughs> Thanks for the DM. <laughs> uh -uh. Wow, another walrus! Take this! notes on this world. Well done. Ow! Okay, just kill me. Just kill me. Kill me. I'll show up back at Mumbo's. Abusing DM privileges. Oh, that's not fair. I thought I'd get put back at Mumbo's. Oh well. Still nine lives. Honestly, I'm a cat. Banjo-Kazooie, 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 Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> that was the thing I used to do a lot as a child, was just sing the title to, like, uh, whatever the title of the thing was, I'd sing it to the theme song, if it didn't already have lyrics. Nothing else I have to do as a walrus, is there? I think I'm walrus all set to head back. So I think the last thing to do is the um, honeycomb pieces, and then the gingos, or the last ginger. Oh no, I've got to do the boggy race as well, don't I? Uh, let's do the honeycomb piece first, because the second honeycomb piece pretty much kills us. If we do it right. After that, we're do I think we're doing pretty well so far. Uh -oh. oh, for God, why the oh. Okay, let's 
try this again, shall we? Oh, that, see if I'd landed on the scarf, that would have been... There we go. Hey buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Press A to accept or B to check in out. She's not a chicken, she's a Breagull. Okay buddy, here's the rules. Run through the red slalom gates and try to beat me to the end. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. I want to know exactly how he's powering that thing. You know, does it have a secret engine on it somewhere? Because that should be running only under gravity. Can they, can they stop to get some feathers and let him catch up? But he slows down just for you. Oh. Quickly, quickly, jump, 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 jump. Made it. Oh. Yo, oh, I've lost again. Take my other medal. I'm off to look for my kid's presents. He's such a good dad. Okay. That's, uh, it shows you the total jiggies, but not the number you have. I'm hoping this is going to be number 10 when we come in here. Hello, Waza. Again, if you're watching and you're not from the UK, that's a, a British thing. Adding ZZA to the end of um, uh, names as a nickname. Like Mario would become Maza, so he's a walrus, so he becomes Waza. Gaha, gaha, I forgot the. Okay. Ow. Okay, that was pretty bad. Hopefully, I should still have enough to get through here. Because what you do. No, that's not. I need to go get some health and do this again. Because you're meant to go through there as the walrus, but. Daza. Is there a health bit up here? No, there's not. Because what you're supposed to do there is you're supposed to swim through the tunnel. Beehive down here, I think. You swim through the tunnel as Banjo to get the final honeycomb piece. Because I'm really not wanting to be the uh, walrus again, if I can help it. So, should be able to... How on earth do you do that? Really confused. We might just have to be the walrus again. That's... I, I've done that flawlessly so many times and yet now I'm struggling. That's really daft. Oh well. I have got nine lives. But if I die, I end up all the way back at the start. So I might as well just... Come on, hurry up. No, no, Banjo. Yeah. I should have just done this as the walrus when I was there. I would have had to go back in for the Jinjo anyway, but... Uh, at least there's a mumble token here we can get. Uh, 
and I'll end up back at the start anyway, so I can just go back out and uh, the walrus will wear off. I, I don't know how many mumble tokens I'm getting versus how many I need, because I need uh, 20 for the pumpkin and then 25 for the, um, the, the honeybee. I think it's f uh, 10 for the for the crocodile. Why does a walrus sound like a seal? Walruses don't sound like that, do they? Why have I never noticed that before? So this is the intended strat. Uh, hang on, before you before you kill me, before you kill me. There we go. I thought you said you need all of what? Oh, see. Uh, all the mumbo tokens. I don't need all the mumbo tokens. You can. Uh, I need. I need to collect enough throughout the levels to be able to get all the um, transformations. But there are more tokens than there are. Um, there are more tokens than are required for the transformations. So you can miss quite a few. Mumbo Talks is a different thing altogether. Uh, that's in the uh, <laughs> the adult version of, um, of Banjo Kazooie. Right, come on, let's do Bubble Clip Swamp. Let's get it over with. Conquer's, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, yeah. That's where the mumble talks are. Okay. Yummy! Croc just like that! Me want yummy egg too! Something at the top there is just feathers. Okay. Well timed leaf, thank you very much. Gonna get the notes without getting my shoes. Oh, I should have got the life. Oh well. Quite short on lives, as you can tell. Dun dun. My joke is ooing. I'll get some health back when I do the, uh, the tribe here, whatever the name is. Uh, an ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our goal, but he'll never beat us all. Because after all, you're my wonder wing. I know it doesn't rhyme, I know it's a crappy joke, but I'm going to do it anyway. You're too tough for us flibbits. Oh, they're called flibbits, yeah. Dun, dun. I joke Kazooie. Okay, so. As long as you don't fall off, the time limit here is lenient enough that you can do the Croctopus and the Jinjo and get all the notes and still get the Jiggy, so. Oh, 
And the mumble to the ground. Don't fall off, don't fall off, Kazooie. Come on. Dude, come on, be a good girl. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that is all of them, yeah. Yeah, that's all of them. Go! Coming up on two hours, I've got four and a half of the nine levels done. Uh, no, five and a half actually. Well, you left right over that mumble token, didn't you? I'll try again for that in a minute. Dun, dun. I drink kazooie. Where was the next one? I didn't. Even, I didn't notice. Not behind the turtle. It's over here. Mm. Oh, stupid camera! Work with me. Yeah, so now he's behind the turtle. Tortoise. Sorry. Is it a tortoise or a turtle? I don't know. Tortoises have legs and turtles have flippers, and that has flippers, so I'm guessing it's a turtle. Bad animation in one of the greatest games of all time. How dare you? I'm not entirely sure why I did that, but I did that. Okay, let's go do the turtle. I love how this guy has such a soft spoken voice, and then when you hit him in the foot. Oh, I love the sound effects in this game. How can you not? Warm at last, perhaps you'd like this. Dun, 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 dun. A -a 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 -a. Ten past ten. We're going for two hours. Get in there. Quiet, right, please. The famous tipped up choir when I perform. Yellow, blue, purple. Bit short, isn't it, Shell Boy? <laughs> I love Kazooie. I love Kazooie so much. 
Oh dear, forgotten already. Here it is again. No, I don't want to hear it again, you idiot. I was just getting, I was stealing your honeycomb. Get these so I don't forget them. Okay. I don't know whether it's better to remember where they are compared to the actual colours. I normally just go by the um, direction. Okay, so that's like that's basically a rectangle, isn't it? Skrillex Turtle Orchestra. <laughs> Didn't they play Glastonbury last year? Ah, uh, splendid. You just need one. Sorry. Ah, uh, splendid. You just need one more lesson. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So that's basically drawing two triangles. Well, you know how the sensation where it feels like you've got butterflies in your stomach? He has the same thing, except it's singing turtles. Bum, bum. My joke is ooby. So that's seven. Uh, so there's the Jinjo, there's Mr. Vile. What's the other one? What one am I forgetting? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the um the timer. Okay. So at this point, uh, this far into the run, the 100% world record has already finished the game. To give you an idea of the sort of level that we're talking about. If you haven't seen it, um, the, the new world record was set by a guy called Duck. His, his Twitch username is just Duck. And he set the, um, uh, the new world record on speedrun.com. He set it about two or three days ago. He got a 159.36, I believe. Okay, this one I always fail at. I can never get this first try. This one, I don't know why, it's not that difficult, but it's the bane of my life, this. It's the bane of my runs. Which is why I got it first try this time round. <laughs> Okay, well that saved a bit of time. We uh, we we cocked up so much in freeze easy that it's good to um, to get that first try. That saved us a bit of time at least. Mobile token, thank you. And then we go. So 15, so I need to get another 5 before uh, Mad Monster. Wait, Mumbo need new boots. PB input. I don't know about that, although we do seem to be doing quite well so far. Like, the fact we're going to have finished uh, 6 out of the 9 levels with 3 hours to go on the, um, on the target. But then, Mad Monster Mansion and Rusty Bucket Bay are nightmares. Hang on. 91, so I've still got 9 to find somewhere. I wonder where they are. I'm Mr. Vile, greediest crook of all. Play my game to win a prize. This is the worst Jiggy in the game, by the way. At least on Xbox. Basically, the strategy is just to follow him around and get to all of them before he does.
I'm not even using the speed shoes. I should really be using the speed shoes. He loves his trombone, does Grand, uh, Grand Kirkhope. He loves his trombone and he loves his xylophone. He loves basically... <laughs> and the saxophone. The saxophone's in there as well. He, he likes any instrument ending O-N-E. You have to do it twice, yeah. You have to do it three times, actually. Uh, once with reds, once with yellows, and once with both. There we go. That one wasn't too bad. Err, you only want easy game. Now we play a harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah, you basically just have to get to his before he does. It's the only way to really stay ahead of him. I think we're okay. Ah, lucky Greenie wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at top of screen. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So again, you're just trying to get to his before he does. I was glad to get that done on the first try. Because that can be an absolute nightmare. Okay. Don't worry, you can kill me in a second. Just gotta get these last ones. Where's the other honeycomb piece? Did I get the other honeycomb piece? I got the one in the turtle. Before I kill myself, where was the other honeycomb piece? Did I miss it? I can't remember where it was. I can always come back for it. Uh, are you gonna kill me? Come on. Turtle, and then there was the. Let me quickly check my view totals. I've got one out of two. Where the hell is the other one? Damn it! I can't remember where the other one is. I was all ready to leave. Is it? Oh, 
Oh, damn it, it might be in Mumbo's. I think it's in Mumbo's roof. Mumbo, in one of the levels at least, Mumbo has a... has a honeycomb piece in his in the roof of his thing. I'll just double check in there. Because I'm really struggling to think where it would be otherwise. Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. Oh, but I Always check about Mumbo's thing before you're done. Ah, uh, but how the hell do I get out of here? I'm just gonna let him kill me again. Sorry, Banjo. Also, when Banjo dies, why does Kazooie also die? Are they symbiotically linked? Alright, we're on to the final three levels of the game. Kazooie is Venom. Now that is the uh, spin-off I want to see. Okay, so there is a trick you can do here. I wonder if I'm going to be able to pull it off. Save us a little bit of time. Uh, because there's a way to jump onto Gruntilda. Jump onto her hand there so that you don't have to go up into Gobi's Valley and jump through the pot. There we go. Stay on, stay on her. Down we go. Dun, dun. Long of tooth and strong of arm, Granty's got the lasting charm. Is she doing infomercials of herself in her own lair? Together they cause carnage, yeah. Hey Fastby, how you doing? Okay, time for the level that gave us the best Smash remix that wasn't done by Grant Kirkhope, of course. I was going to have just kept you in the cage, just not move those points. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point actually. She's very generous. I keep forgetting to bow every time he does that. That was one of the things that I used to do. That was her autobiography, wasn't it? I mean, I think this counts as a Halloween game, doesn't it? All about an evil witch? I mean, the next level certainly does. I've seen so many people playing horror games on, uh, on various Twitch channels. And I'm sitting here, you know, this game's got a witch in it. Dare. Don't you dare! See if I drown, I have to go all the way back to the beginning of Rusty Bucket Bay. Witchy hubris. I think you need to see the doctor about that. I've got a problem with my witchy hubris. Oh! Should have got that mumble token. Oh well. I'll get others. I think I've already got enough for the pumpkin. Or near enough. I think I'm maybe one away. If you think I'm rather soft, I'll be waiting in the loft. If you think I'm rather soft, now I'm owned by Microsoft. Of 
Go as Grunty for trick or treat. Um. <laughs> yeah, Microsoft is a combination of two words that shouldn't be anywhere near your dating profile. always forgets to do or doesn't realise they have to do on their first run. Just knock this gate down. And then you have to come back here as the pumpkin. And the number of times that I've done speedruns of this game and I've gone to that gate and I've forgotten to knock it down when I come out as the pumpkin, I have to go back in and do the re-transformation re of same of the re-transformation of Shane, that's hard to say. Oh come on Kizui, pick up the nose, there we go. Thing you need to, I don't think you need to go into the um, the downstairs rooms in here. I think they're all sort of bonus stuff. I can't remember the route for this. Uh, I need to come back. Here's the pumpkin, don't I? Need to remember that. If I'm like, if I'm, if I'm liable to forget anything about this level, it's going to be the. Um, It's going to be the uh, that honeycomb piece. You've received a, a claim. Well, congratulations. Is that a claim? The company that uh, developed the um, burnout series. Was that a claim or was that Crazy Taxi that they did? Either way, it's a crap joke. The joke, rather, but not the game. The games are pretty good. That's what I'm looking for. Don't you dare, you... Bats, haven't you caused enough trouble this year? Come here. There's the pirate that was going to be the main villain of uh, Banjo-Kazooie back when it was Project Dream. Cause after all, you're my wonder wing. Some notes and some weird camera angles in this. Uh, yeah, I knew there was a mumble token in here somewhere. Yeah, I um, I bashed my leg against my coffee table earlier, and now I've got a sore knee as well. <laughs> How many puns can we think of that involve uh, games developers before the stream is over? Bonus points if they're defunct, like NeverSoft. Ah, I knew there was a ginger up here. Hello. Hang on, uh, mumbo token. Yeah. Camera, work with me. Grunty's gold, how it's shone. She'll be mad now it's gone. Oh yeah, here. Yes, I'm mad. My boot I'll put up your useless spooky butt. See, that's something that only works in the um, uh, the north of England. You can tell this game was written by uh, like guys in the north and the Midlands. Because there's a couple of rhymes in here that only work in, um, in northern English accents. Like put and butt. Uh, right, 
Right. Uh, basement. Not basement, cellar. Two hours twenty-two. <laughs> That's a cruel place to have notes, isn't it? Where's the jiggy? There's a jiggy in here, isn't there? Yeah, there it is. Dun dun. I joke kazoo, Okay, I got the ginger, got the notes, got the uh, jiggy, and we're out of here. Gate down. What's up here? Ah, yes, I remember you. Tumblr! I have actually died in this room before. Believe it or not. A down here, isn't it? Yes. It's annoying that you can't pick up the notes. Where's the end? Where's the end? Where's the J? Where's the J? Where's the J? <laughs> I mean, look at Banjo go. Look at him. He's moving it with his mind. This is the one time in the game that Banjo actually does something instead of just leaving everything to the woman. Last, the puzzle is solved. Take this thing. I'm leaving this gloomy shed. I mean, it looks pretty brightly lit for a gloomy shed. Dun, dun. I joke Kazooie. Also, it's got their faces on it, which is a little creepy. Seems like the witch has some kind of obsession. As well as the massive narcissism of herself because of all the pictures of Grunty that were on those tiles as well. But she clearly has some unhealthy obsession with the, the bear and bird. There we go. Okay. Yep. Need to hit this switch first and then get the speed shoes. If I had a haunted house, I'd fill it with pictures. <laughs> to be fair, most haunted houses are normally big mansions that, you know, the people that live in them are always so rich that they're narcissistic anyway, they have giant portraits of themselves. Legacy building, I like that. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. There you go, that's what you get. I know it's the, not the optimal way, but I'm going to get these other two before I forget them. <laughs> Come on, you can't jump up the middle bit. Don't you dare knock me off. Give me that. 
Yeah. So if I fall from the top here, I'm pretty much dead. I'm just around the corner here. Honey. Might get some honey action. Don't mind me, bees. Just stealing everything you've worked your hard lives for. Those are, considering the size of the um, of the uh, the organ. <laughs> yeah, you beat me too. I was going to say I'm not going to mention anything about this guy's massive organ, but those were tiny pedals. Motsan plays his organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? Now, he plays the same notes every time, so I really, as a, if I'm going to speedrun this game, I really should know this off by heart, but I don't. So, I think he only plays major keys to begin with. No, he doesn't. He's just about to hit a black. Also, it really, really annoys me that the, um, the notes don't match up with what he's playing. Like, they could have fixed that. Not bad, Bear, but now watch me. Copy this tune. And I'm amazed I'll be. Finishing on an F because why not? Now, when I say finishing on an F, I mean finishing on a B. How many notes are in this thing? E flat? What kind of key is this? Your music skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine. So, do all the creatures in Mad Monster Mansion rhyme? Is that their. Like, is Gruntilda from Mad Monster Mansion and it's just that's what the lore is that. Everyone in Mad Monster Mansion rhymes and no one else does. It's going to be questioning Banjo Kazooie lore. Screw it, I'm going to get the extra life behind. Duh. I'm guessing it does count more than nine. Oh, come on, Kazooie. It's not like you're carrying a massive weight on your back or anything. Okay, this is daft. Bam bam, a joke is Okay, and then there's a flight pad over there. All right. Okay, so the first honeycomb piece is up here. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. And then I'm going to get this 26, so I need 14, no, I need um 19 more for the bumblebee. Camera angle helping there. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. It's all good. I feel fantastic and I'm still alive, still alive, still a bird. Hey Alex, uh, I am on level seven of nine, so I'll probably be a while yet. I, I got your um, I got your uh, Discord message. Um, sorry, I'd already started streaming by that point. I'll um, I'll catch you guys another time. So, I've told this story every time I stream Banjo Kazooie, but the voice of these of these flower pots is Grant Kirkhope, and he had to re-record the line "Thank you" so so many times because because um, every time he recorded it, it sounded like he was saying "F you," and so he had to re-record it like 10, 20 times because that that kept some sounding like "F you" in his accent. 
which is really, really funny. Actually, I don't even have to kill them. I can just run underneath them. But yeah, collectibles! Not a lot of people know about that secret area. Like, not, not a lot of casual banjo players. Okay, climb the roof. I love that they added the sound effect for Kazooie's feet on the roof tiles. They didn't have to do that. Um, I can't play the banjo, so I just stick with the kazoo. I have to say, very impressive for Kazooie to be able to play more than one note out of her kazoo. You know? Because in the intro she's going bam bam ba bam 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 but it's a one note kazoo, so that's mighty impressive. Especially considering she doesn't have lips with which to make any embouchures or anything. Uh, okay, I think... We done everything. No, we haven't done everything we can. We've still got the maze. There's still a jiggy in here somewhere, isn't there? Jinjo, certainly. Oh, leave me alone. I believe I've done everything. The ginger, David, get the ginger. There we go. I drink a zoo. Only six. What's left? There's the uh, the pumpkin in the pipe. There's the toilet. Um, there's the pumpkin in the well. I'm missing one more. Other one is that. Hmm. Can't remember what the other one is. Done the church. Done the Did I get all the flower? I didn't get all the flower pots, that's what it is. So now, it's pumpkin time! I think. Don't think there are any notes I've missed. Find it. You got notes up here. No, oh, just gold feathers. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Ah, Mumbo proud of pumpkin spell. Make good soup. through there, isn't it? No, what am I doing? Am I going the wrong, completely the wrong way? Pumpkin doesn't belong in here. Ghost! Ah! Don't eat me. Don't know if you even can. Don't know if you can take on corporeal form. Okay, so up here we go. Right, hopefully I smashed all the windows that I needed to up here. I mean, you see hashtag spawn, but I haven't actually... Oh, listen to this guy. Just burps and farts the whole way. Um, corporate, yeah, <laughs> I was going to make the same joke. Um, you see you see that I'm sponsoring, but I haven't actually revealed what it is yet. I'm just drinking it. And you okay, so there's the toilet, there's the... Um... What's the other one? 
like I said. That's my favourite grunty line in the whole thing. I can't believe you went down there. Now wash your hands, you filthy bear. Probably my favourite grunty line in the whole thing. I love a bit of toilet humour. There's the pipe. Wasn't that one of the characters from Toy Soldiers? You mean the um, the Eminem song? Okay, and now we've just got the well. Wellity, wellity, wellity. Uh, I think the well's down here, isn't it? Okay, well, it's a long way to the well. Vinto Fizzy Zero. Wasn't that a character in one of the Marvel movies? No, the only toy soldiers I knew were in Toy Story. Sorry if I've just ruined it for you. Alright! Move, move, move! Those are the guys I remember. I know small soldiers, but I've never seen toy soldiers. Hopefully I haven't missed a note. There is another note in here somewhere. Ow! Yes, okay, good. 100 notes, both honeycomb pieces, 10 jiggies. Oh yeah, that's why, so, I did, did I not grow up with a film that I don't know the name of? Okay, Mad Monster Mansion done. Hey, leave me alone. On, I'm in grave danger. Ow. I really wish someone would put out a medley of all the different versions of Gruntilda's lair. Because the best one is obviously Furnace Fun. It's a shame because it's one of the best tracks in the game and you only hear it in uh, one area of the game. I deserve that. <laughs> Also, I've never noticed this before, but Banjo's sh oh, leave me alone. Banjo's shorts go right up his crack. Like, see if you look at the back of his shorts. They, like, he's got a proper wedgie going there. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have killed the ghost because I was going to death warp out of here. Oh, that's really annoying. Bugger. I know he says Ubernaka, but for some reason I always heard it as Boogernut. If I go back in, does he respawn? No. Okay, so I have just screwed myself there by several minutes. Oh well, it's not like we're doing anything against the clock. Are we? But you can kill me. Can't you get here any faster? Okay. Please let the ghost be back. Yes, the ghost is back. Alright. Let's do this properly this time. This is probably still faster than actually... Uh... Killing myself twice for... Uh, because reasons. Uh, can you hurry up and kill me, please? The, the problem is, I didn't have enough health last time, now I've got too much health. Where does this death warp send me? Good question. Let's find out. Fine. It was it was the cooking one was my uh, save file, wasn't it? Game two, two thirty nine. Yeah, 
76 jiggies, 700 notes, 2 hours 32. That's not bad at all. And I know we're all the way back here, but whatever. Now, I can now get the clanker of which, which, which switch, which I haven't got yet. Forgot about this. I would have ended the game with 89 notes and forgotten about this. Banjo Kazooie. Okay, Rusty Bucket Bay, here we go. I don't think I'm gonna get a PB this time. Uh, I wasn't aiming for a PB to be honest, you know, I was dicked about too much in Freezy D Peak, I wasn't following any sort of route or anything. Um, but fi under five hours is definitely possible. But beating Rusty Bucket Bay, Click Clock Wood, and uh, Furnace Fun and the Grunty Battle in an hour and a half is not. probably not feasible. And to be honest, it would probably have been faster uh, for me to just walk back out as the pumpkin, but oh well. Could have just got the cauldron, I suppose. Hey Brent, what have you got for me? The disgusting Gruntilda has tadpoles on toast for breakfast. Then she usually has dog dung burgers for dinner. Warp Bags then finishes with cockroaches and cream for dessert. Delightful. You're going to bed when I'm done? Okay. Well, that's more of an incentive for me to finish quickly because otherwise I'm going to be... I started at 8pm, so uh, if I go five hours, it'll be 1am. Oh, my lights just died. Hang on. Don't you dare. Okay. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Shortcut. The fact that I'm not going for Cheeto is going to help me here, because I think in my last PB I started going for Cheeto pages and then stopped halfway through because I was on such a good run. But uh, that one I didn't have to do the snowman buttons three times in, uh, <laughs> in Freeze Easy, so... So the thing about a lot of these levels, the reason why I find myself singing Banjo-Kazooie along with them is because so many of them have that kind of, I don't know if it was intentional on Grand Kirkhope's part, but a lot of them have that kind of dun 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 So you just, just naturally I find myself going Banjo-Kazooie, 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 it just fits with the rhythm of the title. Like, and here's another one. Listen to the intro of Rusty Bucket here. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie. Okay, you don't have to worry too much about the, doing the engine room first because we are on Xbox. But the engine room is still just as scary because, well, it's the engine room in Rusty Bucket Bay. <laughs> By the way, the, um, uh, if you haven't listened to the uh, Smasher Pieces episode on Banjo-Kazooie... Um, so, because, uh, because on the Xbox version, uh, you don't... Um, you don't, when you die, you don't lose your notes. And uh, you will die a lot in the engine room if you're playing this game for the first time. Like, even even good speedrunners die in the engine room sometimes. 
If I got the Banjo Kazooie LP, I want the Banjo Kazooie LP so bad, but £70 is too much to ask for. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, the the Smashed to Pieces episode of Banjo Kazooie that came out um, around the time that uh, Banjo was announced for Smash Brothers. Um, they talk about how Rusty Bucket Bay Rusty Bucket Bay is so brutal that even the life of yeah, that's a really stupid note to have there, uh, just heading away. Worth it for the mumbo token. Uh, there isn't one on the main table, is it? No, there's not, okay. Um, yeah, in the Smash the People server, they talk about how in Rusty Bucket Bay, it's such a dangerous level that even the life rafts are trying to kill you. Even the lifesavers are trying to kill you. Which is quite funny. Where am I going next? I do not know, but I will continue to go around right here. That's the entrance, I'm back at the entrance, so I'll go the other way. Ow! That's not what I wanted to do, I wanted to go in here! Punk beds! Okay. Okay, Mambo talking in the lifeboat, I believe. Yeah. No, you don't. Ow. Okay, so apparently it's possible to walk through the scene here. In fact, I know it's possible because I've seen it done, but I can't do it. Apparently it's possible to just walk through here to the engine room. But I've never been able to get it to work, so we're just going to have to go a long way around. The sooner I can get the engine room done, the sooner I can relax for the rest of the run. Because the rest of the run is nowhere near as bad as the engine room. It's down here, isn't it? No, you don't. Get in the hole. Here we go. So you have to collect all the notes, and stop both switches, get the jiggy, and then race outside to get the uh, one from the propellers. Keep all our notes. Do I have to hit the switch again? That's the question. I think I do. But it's it's nowhere near as bad as uh, as on the N64 version. Yeah, I have to hit this again. Let's try this again just one more time. I have no idea how to do that. I've seen it done so many times, but yeah. 
<laughs> I just realized your Simpsons reference. That's awesome. I shall remove it later. But yeah, when I do speedruns of this on N64, in fact, not even when I'm doing speedruns, when I play the game normally, I am always doing the engine room first. Because obviously, if you die, you have to collect all your notes again. Not as bad here, but it's still a pain in the arse. Oh, for God's sake! <sighs> yeah, we might be here a while, fellas. Wow, I've only got one. One life. So all those lives that I collected earlier on in the run, because I saved and quit, it put me back down to three. Now I've only got one life left. Which means that if I die, I end up back outside in Grunty's lair. Yeah, I've got to be super careful now. I didn't even think of that. There was an opinion piece recently, um, I can't remember... I don't know if it was... Was it Game Explained maybe, or was it Nintendo Life or one of that? But someone, one of them had an opinion piece about why uh, lives are... Lives as a system are outdated now. Um, I think Crash Bandicoot 4 has lives, so maybe it wasn't Nintendo Life, but um, they were saying that the concept of having lives shouldn't really exist in the modern age. Like Mario Odyssey, if you die, you lose 10 coins and that's it. Um, I think it's a really good point. I mean, by all means, implement a life system for those that want it. But I don't think it's... Shall I get... No, I'm not going to get that one token. I'm not going to risk it. I've got enough that I can get for the rest of the game. Okay, so... That's one. Careful here. No, 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 don't. There we go. What can we carry? Before I get that. Thank you. Okay, so you have to time this so that when the cinematic when the cinematic goes, the thing is turning so that when you get back. I didn't manage it. Oh well. Ah, but now everything's stopped. Okay. This is such a brutal task, especially for children. <sighs> I forgot, I thought I killed that guy already. And then I believe it's down this end. I really hope, yeah, it is down this end. Okay, we're good. Hopefully my swimming doesn't let me down, or rather Kazooie's swimming hopefully doesn't let me down. Oily, oily water and you plunge, you lose air while in that gun. Yeah, that's fine. Just let me get back up onto the surface and then we'll go for the ginger down there. Right, we can... We can relax a bit now. I mean, apart from the fact I've still only got two lives, but... I kind of like that this is the second last level, because then Click Clock Wood, it's big, and 
it's difficult, but it's fun, and it's a lovely way to end the game. Having this as the second last level rather than the last means that once you've gone through the ordeal of Rusty Bucket Bay, once you get to Click Bogwood, it's almost like a reward, it's almost like a dessert after your main course. Some people I know don't realise that you can actually put in another four to get uh, to get this to go further out. Spend all that time trying to get this mumble token in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the year. Is that the jiggy there? Dun, dun. By Joe Kazooie. Coming up on three hours. We have two hours to do the rest of Rusty Bucket Bay, Click Clockwood, and then Grunty's Furnace for the final battle. Yeah. I love Click Clockwood, is one of my favourite levels of any game. Ow, don't you. Oh. Of course he did. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he do that to me? Things were going too well. Oh, there's another one there, just you know, just in case you feel like your life was getting too easy. Thank you. Take that health back. I think these are all the nodes in here. There aren't any more. No, we're all right. And you were waiting for me. Oh no. Wrong. All right, we'll do the dolphin. was going to do the dolphin, but then the dolphin was right there, and we got taken out when we were underwater, so yeah, why not? These guys, you see when you see when you get it right, rat attack wrapping them like that is so satisfying. Oh come on, camera. Banjo's attacks don't kill instantly, and Kazooie's do. Yet another reason why Kazooie is doing all the work. Again, why the woman is doing all the work and the man is just being carried everywhere. Honestly, Banjo-Kazooie is a feminist statement. Well, it's not really a feminist statement, it's an example. <laughs> it's a good reason for feminism. Uh, right. I mean, look, Kazooie is doing all this. Kazooie is better in every way. Yeah, the the anchor does uh, slice the dolphin in half, and yet he seems to be fine. I joke, Kazooie. Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh, I have to get on the. Oh, look who's back. Even the lifesavers want to kill you. Look at look how angry he is. Oh cool, I didn't realise I didn't realize there was a guy in the boat. That must have been a painful death. No way out of here. There's a way out of here. Where's the nearest ladder? There's the nearest ladder. 
watching my ear like a hawk. There we go. Okay, so we've got all the honeycombs. Just need to work our way around the outside now. Why did I stop? I should have just jumped and jumped back. Wow, I'm not doing well here. One second, because that's the one that requires you to go back on the boat. Oh, there you go. What's in here? Notes. Lots of notes. Thank you for the notes. Any notes in this corner? Because they're sneaky sometimes and they put notes right underneath the camera so that you never notice them. Notes is them. No pun intended, but on reflection, pun 100% intended. Okay, we've got 19. We need to get another 6 before we can. Uh... <laughs> um, there's 4 there. I don't think there's any other reason to be in here, is there? No. Just eggs. Yeah, yeah, I'm just being an idiot. Oh! Oh, that was convenient. I was in the right spot. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie. Blue Jinjo should be in here. Yeah. I believe there are some notes in here as well, but I could be mistaken. Uh, no, I don't think there are any notes in here. It's all feathers. So, out we go. Banjo kazooie, banjo kazooie, banjo kazooie. Oh, I have to go back. I have to go back on the boat anyway. So go on the boat. Banjo. I, I still have to climb up the um the uh, the towers of the boat as well. So we'll do that as well. I haven't been in the um in the the bridge yet either. Which is the room that apparently your game can crash in uh, occasionally. It's never happened to me, but I'm always very scared when I go in that room. So we're on the bow. Did I get? Did I get the token from the bow? I did get the token from the bow. Give me a look. Need to go in here. This is the room that apparently you can crash in, so keep your fingers crossed, people. Apparently, if you get attacked by one of these enemies in this room, uh, the game can crash. Thankfully, it didn't happen to us, and I think that's all the notes. Had a mini heart attack there. <laughs> right, up the towers. No, stupid camera, come on. No need to call me names, Shadow Wolf. I may be odd, but there's no reason to put it in the chat. Oh, hello. There we go. I have no idea. I just assume it's like an N64 uh, thing. Uh, it looks like it got fixed in the um, uh, the Xbox version. Either that or I just didn't... Uh, <laughs> know the reason why I'm odd. Um, uh, 
Yeah, I've no idea. Uh, I haven't looked up enough to know for sure. So it's just the boss battle and the Jinjos now, and then those final notes there. So I'll go and uh, and I'm hoping that I can cheese the boss battle because there is a way to cheese it. Ninety-nine. Oh crap! Ninety-nine. Why have I got ninety-nine notes? Oh no. Where would I be missing a note? Where would I? Where would there be one single note? Is there a note in a lifeboat? I hope it's not in the engine room. It might be in the um, the anchor room. I missed a note in there. I think I got it. Either way, let's go fight the boss battle and then we can figure it out. Wow. It's happened again. Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, I'm just gonna double check in here that I haven't missed one of one of these boxes. Where's that hundredth note? What one have I missed? There's not one on the battles there. It could just be in like a lifeboat. I'm trying to think, it's not. Hopefully, it's not in the engine room. Because there, there aren't that many. Pl there it is. When it's pairs like that, where they're on opposite sides of something, it's always good to collect them together, because you will collect one and then think you've collected the other one. Okay, so... Hopefully I can do this. The trick to this... 43 eggs, we've got enough. Uh, so, he's there. Before the cutscene starts for the boss battle, you just fire off a bunch of eggs. Get them out of the way. And then quickly... There we go. Dun dun. I drink a zoo Yeah, and that's, uh, so you start the boss battle without triggering the cutscene, and by not triggering the cutscene, the Jiggy doesn't disappear, so you don't have to fight him. Which is good, because that boss takes a long time and is really, really awful. But that is Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, we're on three hours, 11 minutes. Click clock's gonna take like 40 minutes. Oh yeah, probably not a PB, but we're probably we're, we're gonna be under the five hour mark, which is good. And with me faffing around, I think uh, here's the 3.1. Um, with the amount of faffing around I did, if I actually uh, rooted it properly, I could probably get under four hours again. I might do another one quite soon where I do some actual proper rooting and uh, look at look at an old um, 
look at an old glitchless speedrun strat from before all the um, skips were discovered. And hopefully, if I can get on sub four hours, especially in the Xbox version, that'd be really good. Because when I when I did my um, uh, run like last year, it put me into the top thirty for Xbox hundred percent. Which was really cool. The fact I was in the top 30 Banjo Kazooie speedrunners on Xbox was just unbelievable to me. Um, although I think since then I've been pushed in, down into the, the top 40. Oh, Brent! David Brent, how are you? Gruesome Gruntilda's favourite pastime is bursting boils. This poor guy called Dirty Bertie was her first and only boyfriend. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a greasy warthog as a pet. Oh, you poor dears, your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. That's better. Yes, we need to get... Up the leaves. Ow. Oh, might as well open this one here. Go, Where's the hole I need to find the hole? There's the secret hole. Why do you... That's it. You created a shortcut. Hop in and see. David Brent is uh, around this corner again. Ugly Runty's nickname was Cauldron Butt. I also know that Sweaty Gorilla Feet is her favourite smell. And the old hag's favourite colour is Gruesome Green. Yeah, she must think that we're terrible at this game because we never have full health when we meet her. Oh, 21. Okay, that's fine. We'll get more than enough. Into the best level in the game! Yeah, look at the crack on Banjo. Look at that. Sorry to ruin any of your childhood memories, but yeah, Banjo has a massive wedgie here, and I've just noticed that. Oi! Right, I'm gonna... Quickly take a deviation to reveal something that I only just learned like two days ago. Quickly, round the back of here. Hidden in this grass. Shock jump pad. And that is how you get that extra life. I literally discovered that like two days ago watching someone stream. I had no idea that was there. It's like the, um, the um, patch of DK soil in Fungi Forest in Donkey Kong 64. Try and keep track of everything that I do. Oi! Actually, no, I only need four. Go for the easy ones. This was the first tune that um, Grant Kirkle created for this game. 
It was in long grass, but it wasn't discovered for 17 years. No one knew it was there. I'll have that, thank you. 22. Can you get in here and... No, you can't. That's what it is. I have to remember to come back in spring because the final Jinjo is in the spring beehive. I remember I spent ages in my last speedrun looking for the pink Jinjo. And uh, it's in the spring beehive. Which you don't go into for any other reason. You need to come back as a bee. This bit always scares me a little bit. Especially when the camera's not doing what it's told. Okay, take it slow. Anything in here in spring? Yeah, Mumbo! Yeah, there's Nab Nut, the greedy bastard. Also, he gets his own theme. Only place in the game where that song plays and it's in Nab Nut's house. I don't know why Nab Nut is so special to get his own theme. Like, it's not even a remix of the Click Clock Wood theme. It is just... It's, it's his own theme song for that one squirrel. Very strange. Eerie! Me, Eerie, mighty eagle, need sleep now. Mama. And then he snores like a 40 year old man. Now, I don't think there's much more reason to go up here. But we'll do it anyway. I can't remember what else you do in spring. Oh, hello. So you uh, plant the flower. He nabs it for himself. Oh, the puns are coming thick and fast, and I love it. A joke, Zuby. Okay, uh, extra life. Thank you. No notes in here, are there? Are there? No. Okay, let's head out. Uh, now, am I above the water? Yay! How about that? Nailed it. So you should end up with 16 notes at the end of uh, spring. The one thing I do remember is the note count for each season. I believe it's 16 for... Um... Hey Rosanna, how are you doing? I bet you, you know this game. Uh, so yeah, you end spring with 16. I believe you end summer with 36. You end autumn with 84. I am, I'm playing the Xbox version. I'm speedrunning. Uh, I believe. Oh no, maybe you end... Um, oops. Uh, maybe you end spring with... Yeah, no, no, there are 16 notes in spring, but you end spring with 20. Yeah, that's why I'm getting confused. Now, is there anything more for me to do in, uh, in spring? I can't, I can't help uh, the beaver yet. Got enough tokens, so and I've got one of the gingos. Okay, I think we're good. We've hatched Eerie, we've hit the summer switch, and we have uh, planted the food. Not the food, we've planted the flower. So yeah, off we go, on to summer! Eerie hungry now, need five caterpillars! Oh, he's a demanding little sword, isn't he? 
Such a well hidden ginger. There's our first passer killer. That's what um, that's what a pun is called in Scotland. A patter killer. That's a joke that like nine people are gonna get. Okay, I believe uh Oh no hang on, I can climb up the leaves in summer, can't I? How many mumble tokens do I have? I've got 26, so I've got enough for the bee already, so I don't need to worry about any more mumble tokens. I'll head up here then. Off to a flying start. By a flying start, I mean a falling start. By a falling start, I mean a standing start. Okay, there is probably a faster way to do this from the top, but. If I miss, then I have to climb all the way back up anyway, so we'll do it the proper way. Do it without the camera zoomed out. There we go. Dun, dun. By Joe Kazooby. Before we climb up the mountain, uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll go the... Uh, before we climb... Before the mountain. Before we climb the tree, we'll... Uh, go this way round and we'll uh, say hello to our old friend Gilby who we are going to absolutely hump once again. Oh, oh no it's you two again. Gilby thought he was... Gilby gets shafted so many times in these games. I love this level so much. Okay, any notes on the... Oh, no, screw it. There's the autumn switch. Okay, now we've got to break open this guy. This guy's lost his keys. Wow! Well, yeah. So, I'm wondering if, when this game was being developed, every single interior was going to have its own theme song. Because Click Clockwood was one of the first ones to get the theme for it written. Grant Kirkwood said that a number of times. And the fact that Nab Not the Squirrel has his own theme song, and the beaver. I can't remember the beaver's name. Oh, Naughty, that's the beaver's name. Um, the fact that Naughty the beaver also has his own theme song, which you only hear... In, in, um, in winter. You only hear Naughty's theme song in winter when you swim in under the ice for the, um, for the honeycomb. Alright, Rosanna, have fun. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy it. I, I love your emotes, by the way. Uh, right. In we go. Cause maybe it's gonna be the thing that saves me. Cause it's the thing. It's my wonder wing. Oh crap, have I got enough feathers. Yes, I do. There are notes in here, aren't there? Is that just in autumn? Okay, I'm now out of gold feathers, so I've got to try and get some more of those. Although I don't think I need them again until the final battle. How many have I got? Five. Okay, so. Do I risk it? No, no, no. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. No! It took five damage. Bloody hell. <laughs> that so wasn't worth it. 
I'll get in the autumn, it's fine. Sorry, there's some health here. That'll cost me a minute or two. Uh, it's not too bad. Because we're back up here already, so... It's like... I'll just... I'll, I, I shouldn't have been so, uh, so... So reckless, especially when I'm on such good pace. I have to keep reminding myself I don't need to go for mumbo tokens anymore. I am going to get more caterpillars though, because Eri, the greedy bastard, needs ten of them in the autumn. So, excuse me. Bit of a heart-stopping jump. Is this, is this fat nabma? It is fat nabma. Do you have a caterpillar in your room? No, you don't. Uh, congrats, Nabna, on the uh, on the baby. Get ah! Oh no 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 no! No. That was my own. That was my own mistake. In fact, give me some health. Okay. If I fall off again, I'm dead. I don't know if I lose all my caterpillars when I do that. I would hope not. And what I was going to say is, uh, congrats on the baby, Nav. Not, I'm guessing it's a boy, because, you know, nuts. I don't think there's any reason to stay up here once, uh, once... Eerie's been fed. I think once Eerie's been fed, we can, uh... That's what I should have done. How do I get down from here? And do I have all the notes? Oh, ho, 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 that was close. Speaking of growing, lads... It's a good thing that his nappy grows with him, isn't it? Because otherwise, he's going to get some rash. He just headbutts Banjo on the way down. Did he have another caterpillar? No, he doesn't. It's in Autumn where he's such a lazy sod that he uh, doesn't even... Yeah, I... there's no safe way for me to come down with the health that I have. I'm going to have to go the long way around. Actually, no. Here we go. Don't mind me. 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 Just getting off a beat. Ow. There we go. Uh, 36. So, I think... Is that all the... Um... Okay. I'm going to assume that th that's all the notes. I think 36 is the number. We're going to head into autumn. Go for the jiggy again. Yeah. I should have thought of that, but I'll, I'll be passing through that way anyway. So, we should have 84 at the end of autumn. Bear, get eerie, more caterpillars! Need 10 this time! Oh. Okay. This is why I need more gold feathers. Yeah. I need to get some gold feathers. Gold feathers were probably in summer, weren't they? Let's just get all the notes around the tree. Let's get all that. 
Where would I get gold feathers in, uh, in autumn? No. Oh, for God's sake. These things are bigger uh, as you go through the seasons. I'm going to quickly just try and mumble to see if he's got uh, if he's got some gold feathers. You have some gold feathers for me? Oh, you've got a caterpillar. No, you have notes though, so good thing I came in here. I forgot there were notes in Mumbo's. Okay, worthwhile trip. I look behind. Oh, I'm behind. Go fella. Okay. We've got John Joe up here. Or Oran Joe to his friends. Caterpillar. Hey Gobi. Bye Gobi. We're on 3.33. Right, that's it. I'm off to the lava world. They're so good at uh, teasing um, future games. Like, there is no lava world in Banjo-Kazooie, but they thought, we know we're going to make another one, so... I need to get more gold feathers for all those, uh... <laughs> yeah. I've got one gold feather and there are, like, so many of these that you need to... Okay. I managed to get those three. I now need to find some more gold feathers. It's really annoying. I'm thinking I just start climbing the tree. Oh no, I've still got to go around and get all these. Stay. Okay, let's keep going. Like I say, we should end autumn with 84. Ow. And we've got to help stupid Nadna get some more acorns for the, uh... For the winter. And, um... They're all, like, literally three feet from his house. What's up here? Caterpillar? Caterpillar. Oh, come on. Caterpillar. That's nine. I think there are just notes in here, aren't there? Ten caterpillars! Okay. Up we go! Should I just... Uh, I'll come back down and get the flower on the way back down. Need gold feathers, there's a gold feather. Okay, are there there are notes on the roof, but I believe that's only in uh, winter that there are notes on the roof. Don't you dare, Buzz Bomber. Oh, you dared, but I got past you anyway. 
Hi there, bear buddy. I need six more acorns before winter comes. Have you seen any? Yes, no, not why. There might be one. In your own damn house. You ever think of looking there? Mmm, Nabnut hasn't got enough acorns yet. Keep looking. Demanding sod. Go on. Okay, so. Best way to jump for this one is to line yourself up and go for it like that. And then you get number three every time. There's number four. This is always so treacherous, I'm not a fan of this, but. Need two more, there's another one. Oh, fine, take your stupid acorns. Hey, MK, how you doing? I don't care if it's on a high shelf. He's not got the biggest house in the world. Hey, where's the other one? Oh, it's it's down. Yeah, down here. I don't know why there are so many Link cosplayers in um, in Click Clockwood. They're just really big fans of The Legend of Zelda, I guess. No, 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 you didn't. Yeah, they absolutely did. <sighs> Once more with feeling. Oh, we're here, we'll get these notes. One health! One health! Uh, there's none for me to get either, is there? Look at them, They're, look how unimpressed Banjo and Kazooie are. Actually, they look like they've been smoking something. Uh, shall I jump down for the flower now? Yeah, and then maybe attack a beehive or something. Bam bam! Banjo Kazooie! Can I jump down here without getting damaged? Are there any beehives in them? Oh, oh well. There we go, Eevee, more caterpillars. Need ten this time. Damn it. Oh well. At least we don't have to collect the notes again. I don't have to get the, uh, to get the gingers again either, that's good. Quickly head to Mumbo's, get the caterpillar in there. At least we got the jiggy for the flower before um, before we had to do that, because... Uh, yeah, but the acorns aren't too bad. And I, I died before, like I got knocked off before I got to the nest. Um, I, I got knocked off before I got to the nest anyway, so... I couldn't have given her the caterpillars because I suck. So we'll just quickly do a round trip for all the caterpillars. Uh, while I'm here, I'll just I'll go and do the beaver. Oh, for God's sake! I've got to, I've got to knock the beaver's rock off again. I've got to get the beaver's rocks off. Caterpillar in here, isn't it? No, I'm just doing this for nothing. Ok, 
Okay. Oh, that's a pain in the arse. I've already got six, though. So I'll quickly nip back to summer. I'll get the, um... I'll knock open his rock, and then, um... I'll, I'll knock his rock off. Rock his socks off. Something. Um... And then we can head back in. I love that these guys are in swimming trunks in summer. Wow, what strength! And look at sunglasses on. Just it's the little touches in this game. Okay, so we've done that. Okay. So, if I want to beat my PB, I have to finish Click Clockwood, do Furnace Fun, and then do the final battle within half an hour. Uh, I don't think it's happening. Particularly as I don't know how to skip. Oh, I've got to go around all of you lot doing. Screw it. The timing on those things is really fiddly sometimes. Seven. I'm still missing three. There's one in Navnot's house. Hopefully there's... I think there's one in the nest itself because Edie's a lazy bastard who won't even look in his own nest for caterpillars. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need six nuts. You've lost your nuts. Come on, Banjo. I'm not giving it right now. Two. Three. <sighs> I never like this bit. Banjo Kazooie. That's a good point, actually. I uh, I collected the sixth air corn and then I forgot to actually do anything with it. I've literally just realised uh, that I collected the sixth air corn, then didn't go back to Nabnut to get the jiggy. I just proceeded to go further up the tree and then fall off and die. So it was really, really dumb of me. Oh well. Yippee! That's all the acorns I need! Here, take this. I'll see you in spring! Actually, no, because we're going to break into your house in winter. You just won't see us. And there's the winter switch. All the way up here. Yeah, that was your... Yeah, yeah, sorry. I was, um, I was completely blanking. I think I'm still missing a caterpillar. Damn it, I'm one short. Oh, there's one just up there. Okay. Don't fall off now. <laughs> hey, Jonkula. Uh, thank you for the follow, Kim. How are you doing? Uh, right, that's ten. <laughs> is there is there a raid incoming? Is that what you've come to warn me? All right. Right here we go. Getting head butted by a giant baby eagle. Uh, 
347. If we, if we get under four and a half hours, I'll be happy with that. Under four and a half hours for the for my first speedrun in six months with a lot of faffing around and a lot of mistakes. I'll be happy with that. Three, two, one, go! Holy crap. Hey, Kim, thank you very much for the follow and thank you so much for the raid. 141. Holy crap. Hey. <laughs> How are we doing, guys? Thank you so much. That's incredible. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, we are playing uh, Banjo Kazooie. I'm doing a sort of semi-casual, kind of 100% speedrun. Um, this is one of my favourite games of all time. I like to speedrun it from time to time. Hope you're all, uh, hope you're all well on this uh, Sunday night. Uh, how many notes have I got? I've got 82. I'm still missing two notes. Okay, where the hell are these notes? Um, but yeah, if you, um, uh, Stuart, thank you for the follow. Cheers. Um, okay, I'm missing two notes, which I have no idea where they are. Um, where would they be? Oh, I've just died. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Okay, right, cool. Uh, ah, I think they're in the beaver's hut. Let's go into the beaver's hut. Um, <laughs> I, am a, I am a friend of Sue's. Sue's is awesome. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, so yeah, Blind Deal, thank you very much for the follow. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm trying to get through the, yeah, there they are, there are the two notes I'm missing. Uh, so I'm trying to get through Banjo-Kazooie as fast as humanly possible. Um, my PB is around about 4 hours 15 minutes. Um, I'm probably not going to beat that today, so I, uh, I'm probably targeting maybe a 4 hours 30. This is the first time I've done a speedrun of Banjo-Kazooie in like 6 months. Um, and the first time I've done it on Xbox in a year. And the last time I did a speedrun on Xbox, uh, I got a PB just by accident. Uh, just absolutely by chance. Uh, I just went and, um, yeah, so this is the first time doing it, so I don't know the route or anything like that. I don't know the fastest way. I'm just basically playing through the game as fast as possible. So yeah, if you want to stick around, um, then uh, you're more than welcome to. I get, I get everything. Okay, 84 notes. I think I've got all the stuff. So we're going to move on into, into winter. Uh, so yeah, this is possibly my favourite game of all time. If you haven't played this, it's from the same era as Super Mario 64, except it's so much more sophisticated, so much more charm. Uh, Mooncat and Ricondo, thank you very much for the follows. That's awesome. Um, so yeah. Wow, the um, follows keep on coming. Uh, the third fall and Smarty Hall. Thank you. Um, uh, this isn't Rare Replay, this is just on Xbox 360. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, apologies if I um, if I miss your uh, alerts. I'm, uh, I've got my headphones with the uh, the live feed from the game. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, DJ Chrysopolis, thank you for the follow. Um, so this is uh, this is just um, the Xbox Live Arcade version on uh, on Xbox 360, which is the version I want. I don't have an Xbox One. Um, I do have the Nintendo 64 version as well, but I'm worse at that than I am at um, the Xbox version because obviously the uh, Xbox version. If you die, you don't lose all your progress in your level. So yeah. Hey Eerie, how you doing? Eerie, mighty eagle at last! Watch me as I fly into the sky! Um, when I was a kid, this was one of the few games that I loved so much as a kid that I speed ran it uh, as a kid. And when I was a kid, on the N64 version, I could beat this game in under four hours. Uh, glitchless, completely glitchless, which I thought was quite impressive. And especially when I tried to do it again later as an adult. Um, I've never been able to beat that as an adult, not on the N64 version. Uh, the Rusty Bucket Bay engine room just completely screws me over. Um, but uh, on the Xbox version, uh, I think if I kept at this, I could probably get under four hours on this. Which, considering it's the version where that doesn't have skippable text, I think is uh, pretty good going. Um, but yeah, I'm not one of these elite speedrunners that can do all the glitches and all the skips and everything. Uh, dedicated Lucky9to5, thank you for the follow. Awesome name. Um, you want to play Banjo 2E? Is it still worth doing? I think it is absolutely worth it. I think um, Banjo 2E is the funniest game that Rare ever made. Um, I think it's funnier than Conquer's Bad Fur Day, by far. Um, for uh, it, it's kind of it's basically they try and do everything in um, in ba Banjo 2E is like Banjo Kazooie, except they try and do everything bigger and better. So. The worlds are a little larger and sometimes they can feel a bit more bloated. Uh, there's a lot more interconnectivity between the worlds. Um, but I still think it is 100% worth your time. Uh, even if some of the jiggies are kind of bullshit. But, you know, I 100% give Banjo, Banjo 2 a go. Uh, where's the... Uh, 
I'm looking forward to it. Honeycomb, where's the honeycomb? What are you guys doing hiding in Nabnot's stash? The hell, there's a honeycomb in here, isn't there? I'm pretty sure there's a honeycomb in here. And I just, there it is. I mean, this is my favourite genre. This kind of 3D collectathon is probably my favourite genre. Um, shall we go and uh, let's break into Nabnot's house just quickly? I know I'm on, I know I'm on this beat, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna PB, so I might as well just go. There he is. Oh, he's got a wife. When did Nabnot get a wife? I wonder if he gave her any of his nuts, the greedy bastard. Uh, Okay, there's notes down there. So yeah, I'm not going to PB, but I'm going to get under the five-hour target. Oh well, that was that was fantastic. Thanks very much, Banjo. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get under my four hours fifteen PB, which I wasn't expecting to because I was. This is the first time I've played this game in like six months, and I don't know the route. Uh, and I faffed about and made a lot of mistakes and had to do one jiggy in three ZZ Peak three times. Uh, but. So we're just kind of having fun, just trying to beat the game as quickly as we can now. Uh, and falling off the edge. But yeah, we'll see how we do. Oh, holy crap, Lost Fables, thank you very much for the raid. Uh, oh, Parvati, thank you very much for the follow, cheers. Wow, two raids in the space of five minutes, that's mad. One of them had 140 followers, holy, holy, holy crap. I'm not used to those kind of big numbers, so thank you so much, guys. Hey, hey, banjo. Hey, hey, hey. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. No, I'm going to have to fly. Okay, I'll fly onto there later. Uh, let's just get those notes that I fell off trying to get earlier. So yeah, if you're coming in here looking for elite speedrun strats, you're watching the wrong stream. But uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just having a blast playing my favorite game. So yeah, if you if you if you like what you see, then uh, feel free to stick around. Uh, I need a flight pad. There's a flight pad up here. Banjo Kazooie. Wow, lost my account, Rufus and the Killer Bee. Thank you very much for the follow, guys. That's awesome. I recently hit 150 followers, so it's good to know that uh, some people uh, are having fun watching. Oh, you were playing banjo as well, Lost Fables. What were you, were you um, uh, doing it casually, or were you speedrunning it, or what were you doing? Because uh, I always love to meet fellow banjo fans. It's like I say, it's it's I adore this game so much, especially when I'm head banging my um, uh, <laughs> head banging my microphone by accident. I see water takes double there. Yeah, I know. So let's go and listen to the theme song for the one room in the game. Click Clockwood is my favourite level. I think it's my favourite level in any video game ever. It's it's incredible. And there we go. Now why don't we get a ninth health upgrade? That's what I want to know. Yeah, it's a shame that Rare don't do what they used to, but they're, at least there's still enough of an entity that they were able to work to get uh, Banjo and Kazooie into Smash Brothers. So, you know, at least we have we have that to thank them for. And they still have, a lot of their games still have that kind of sort of British humour. And they, they obviously still love Banjo, even if they don't really know what to do with them. But I would love to see um, a sort of Crash Bandicoot style remake of... Um, of uh, Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. I'd love to see them like upgraded into HD. <laughs> I think Nuts and Bolts is good fun. Nuts and Bolts is, if you're looking for Banjo 3, then it's not uh, what you want, obviously. But I think if it didn't have Banjo Kazooie on it, I think people would like it a lot more. He did an entire N64 where I ended up playing 12 classic Banjo. Banjo was your closing game. That is awesome. That is so cool. Uh, so, how many uh, notes have I got? I've got 92. There are four there, and then there are four on top of the cabin, I believe. And then I believe we've got the blue ginger. We've got the blue ginger to get, which is on top of. Um, uh, is it on top of Mumbles? I think it's on top of Mumbles. 
and then we'll have a hundred of those and we just have to um, uh, head into spring get the bee hey, hey, hey. Oh, come on come on no 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 Oh, for God's sake. All right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Badger is on Halo Infinite. That would be amazing, actually. Uh, all right. Well, what did you think of the chances that we beat Furnace Fun and uh, the final battle in the next 15 minutes? Because that's what I need to do to beat my PB. <laughs> uh, is the blue ginger up here? Yeah, there he is. I had the witch switch. I had the witch switch, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's do this cabin once again. Why am I having such trouble? Like, the number of times that I've landed on that cabin and been able to talent trot immediately out of it. There are some things I'm really struggling with today that I've never struggled with in the past. It's really strange. I think I'm just getting old and crap. Don't tell me I have to fly up here for each individual note. Oh, f oh! I'm down to one health. Oh my god! Yeah, ice levels aren't okay. I'm just I'm gonna have to chance it against this ice cube for some health. Sorry, I'm trying to read chat as well because we've got quite a lot more activity in the chat suddenly. <laughs> um, am I missing a trick with that cabin? I don't know what, what I don't know what I'm doing. Like normally, you're able to land, crouch, talent trot before he slides down the before he slides down the roof, but it's not letting me do that. And I don't want to have to fly and land on the cabin and use up all of my feathers for one note at a time. Yeah, Drunkula, I, I can totally relate to that. Missing every platform. Okay, well, that was an unintentional bonus. Alright, cool. Let's try this again, shall we? I, am I doing something wrong, Banjo fans in the chat? Am I doing something like... There we go! Come on, Kazooie, pull your finger out. Or feather, or whatever you have. Why don't I fly forward and pick up the notes? Uh, because I'm not able to fly precisely enough for that. That's what I was trying to do for the past, like, 20 minutes. But, I'm, you know, I've made a few mistakes, but overall I'm relatively happy with how this run has gone. You know, if I actually if I did better routing and I actually knew where to go, that what was the optimal route, then rather than just trying to play through the game as fast as possible, I reckon I could get this under four hours. If I was. If I was careful. There we go. So, find all 100 notes on this world. Well done. So all that's left, I believe... Oh, come on, Banjo! Ugh. It's weird because my two favourite levels in video games are Click Clock Wood and Ice Cap from Sonic 3, and yet I don't like ice physics at all. I know, it's bizarre. Anyway, back into spring to get the bee and the final Jinjo, and I believe that should be all of our... Because I got... um. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of chancing it a bit with that um, uh, jumping from branch to branch there. Oh, escort missions are the worst, Reyna. I know exactly what you mean. Especially if they move at, like, it's... They move faster than walking pace, but slower than running pace. Yeah, that's the... Um, those are awful. <laughs> Joke, 
no washing machines this time. Is Britain going to go double summertime in 2021? What? Please, when the clocks go back and you knock an hour off your speedrun. Oh, that's what you're asking for. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I wish. That would be awesome. Because technically, the world record for this is sub one hour. So, you know, technically someone could finish this game in like minus one minute. If they did that. Uh, the world record for Banjo-Kazooie went underneath one hour in the past week. For the first time ever. I believe there's a Jinjo in here. Jinjo... He's not even ginger. Oh no, I'm still not. Uh, with a lot of glitches, Bralic, that's the answer. A lot of glitches and a lot of skips. I'm still missing a jiggy. What am I missing? I got the flower. I got the beaver. Uh, I got the eagle. I got the cabin. I got the nuts. What am I missing? Uh, I got I got the cabin, I got the nuts, I got the one. Oh no, that's yeah, that is the last one is right at the top. That's what it is. There is one that you can only get as the B because it is super duper up high and you can't climb to it. Yeah. So I haven't forgotten one, it's just this is the natural order of it. It's up here somewhere. There it is. Bam bam, Banjo Kazooie. Diddly do, diddly do, Banjo Kazooie. Sorry, I sing the words Banjo-Kazooie to a lot of the music. That might get annoying for some people. <laughs> I just th This is one of the catchiest soundtracks of anything ever. I think the worst escort mission that I can think of is Natalia in Goldeneye. Uh, when you're trying to protect her in the control level. I, I tried to do that recently. Um, so for those of you who are um, new to my stream, uh, I do normal... I do... If you um, look on my channel page... Um, I do two main series on this channel. I do one called Retro Retread, where I play a whole bunch of games from my youth uh, and see how they've aged and how well I remember them and if they're still as good as I remember them from, my, from when I was a kid. Um, I did Goldeneye as one of those quite recently as well as Perfect Dark. Um, so I think we're good to go to fun is fun. 4.05. If I get under four and a half hours, I'll be happy. Um, uh, and so the the other um, the other series that I do on my channel is called Backlog Declog, where I just go through games in my backlog and try and beat them. Um, and that could be uh, old games like um, I've done Beautiful Joe, or I've done Sonic Advance 2, and it could be more modern games like Bioshock. Listen to this best track in the game right here. Do -do -do -do. And you only hear it in one location, and it's not on the um, LP. The, uh, the grunty medley on the LP does not include Furnace Fun, and it's so annoying. Anyway, the best finale to any game ever. Um, I am a bit of a quizzer. Uh, I've been on British game shows and things like that. Um, and uh, the fact that one of my favourite games of all time ends with a quiz as the end. It's just, it's so perfect. I've never played a Call of Duty game. Sorry, Drunkula. Um, I will, I think I'll play Call of Duty 4 at some point, because apparently the single player in that's meant to be really good. But yeah, here we go. The Click Clock Eagle that you meet. How many autumn worms will he eat? Ten. Banjo. See the picture on my screen, do you know where you have been? Uh huh? Earth is that? Uh, that's Gobi's Valley actually, that's the, that's the pot. Um, I'm not in the quiz league. Um, I, I've been on... The only one I've been on so far is Only Connect. I've applied for a whole bunch of others. Uh, what's the name of the gorilla? Uh, Conga. I was on I was on Series 15 of Only Connect. I was the captain of a team on there. Um, we were called the Darksiders because we were uh, Pink Floyd fans. That's Bottles. Uh, 
No, um, I've been, I've been on episodes of Only Connect. I've only been on one game show. Uh, uh, bottles of mo. I was in my uh, university. I was the captain of my university challenge team one year, but we uh, we didn't make it. We made it to regionals, but not onto the TV show. So yeah, game show rather than game shows. Uh, um, although I have been on, there's a. a Jenny from Jenny Ryan from the Chase does a, a quiz show, a, a quiz podcast called Fingers on Buzzers, and I have been a guest on that as well. So that's Rusty Bucket Bay. I don't know how you join the Quiz League of London. Uh, that's a guest. Of these items on the ground on Treasure Trove Cove was first found. Sorry, I'm trying to look at chat and uh, and play. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the timer once because those take the longest. A lovely specimen in its pot. It's by my bed. What have I got? Uh, I don't think I got this question. I'll guess a loogie bush. No. You go and there's a draw. Okay. It keeps me safe and free from harm. What have I as a lucky charm? I don't think I got this one either. A loogie filled hanky. She loves a loogie. That's a one in three chance. Oh. Granty's cute. She's quite a dame. What was my first boyfriend's name? Oh, that was Dirty Bertie. We know that. I'm not pretty. I'm quite a mess. What do I hide under my dress? A, a reinforced girdle. That's the worry is you get a one-hit kill and um, it's uh, <laughs> and it's a grunty question. What would I have for dessert? Uh, oh, she she did ask this. I think it was cockroach and cream. I'm tempted to get uh, two more jokers. You get two more. Oh, that's just one more joker. There's somewhere where you get two more jokers. We'll, we'll do this. That's not now. They make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? That's Conga the gorilla. It was a crocodile. Okay, it's not. It's Nipper the hermit crab. Yeah, I know this game. I know this game. Big ship's third funnel. What's on top? There is no third funnel. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Uh, that is... That's Click Clock Wood. That's the foyer of Click Clock Wood. Or hub, whatever you call it. <laughs> foyer. It's not a hotel. Do you know and can you tell? What on earth my favourite smell? Uh, sweaty gorilla feet. Hey! Please, easy, 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 isn't square. How many bears can fit in there? How many bears can. No. Oh, yeah, because of the dad. Oh, that's annoying. Alright. Freeze, easy, easy, isn't square. How many bears can fit in there? Okay, I'll guess four. Five. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Oh, five including Banjo. Oh my god. I've never got that question before. Okay. Uh, I'll... Isn't there somewhere you can get two jokers in a row? How many notes for the first note door? 50, I believe. Treasure trove within this game. What's the leaking bucket's name? It's Leaky. Although Mr. Sev would be a fantastic name. Okay. Not doing those. I always, always skip the uh, the timers. I usually curl up in a heap. Where does Grunty like to sleep? On a pile of treasure. She is Scrooge McDuck. How dare you look? Stop that stare. What colour undies do I wear? Oh, they're always... Oh, God. We may actually... Yeah, we're dead. Now, oh. Every single one-hit kill question I had there was a grunty question. So I see, you're back to try one more time, but you will fry. Okay. Uh, there, where are the two jokers? There are places where you get two jokers in a row. Uh, am I... Unless I'm misreading that. I thought there were two jokers in a row. Okay. How many ways in could be found? How many ways into the Haunted Mansion? Oh... Eight. No. Off to a, off to a flying start, lads. 
Gingers are a crafty lot, and treasures grow. Where are they not? Uh, inside a giant tree, uh, on top of the tree, under the pier at the start. Yeah. Trying to do this against the clock is. Yeah. And before Furnace Fun Skip was a thing, the idea that speedrunners would just blast through the game, not talk to Brentilda once, and just guess every single. Uh, just guess every single grunty question. Oh, I've got two minutes to beat my PB. Listen carefully to this tune. What world is it from, you furry goon? Well, I mean, that's obviously Treasure Trove Cove. Rusty Monster Bay. Oh, don't you hate it when you have a rusty monster? Monster Mansion, which is it? Uh, there is no kitchen. There isn't a kitchen in Mad Monster Mansion. That's kind of weird. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Uh, that's the crocodile in uh, Swamp. Uh. On Treasure Trove, there is a boat. What's its name? It doesn't float. It's Boaty McBoatface. <laughs> I love how in um, uh, quick time events versus random quiz, yeah. What did I do on the cover shot? Uh, she was in her long johns, I do remember that. David Brent told us that one. Here's three facts about Rusty Bay. Pick the one that's true today. The ship has three funnels. Nope, there are four lifeboats. The engine room has four cogs. No, let's get three cogs. Listen up now, they make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? That's Tootie. Um. <laughs> Tootie the nasty bear. Oh, was, was it Brentilda? Oh. Listen up now, they make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? That's, uh, that's uh, Tip Top. That's the Diddy Kong Racing character, Tip Top. Ripped up the turtle. <laughs> I used to have a boss who sounded like tipped up the turtle, and I couldn't get it out of my head. Any time he spoke, all I could hear was tipped up going. <laughs> Bog Handle is a fantastic name for uh, for a girl, isn't it? That's what I'm going to name my daughter. Uh, where the hell? Oh, that's the orange thing from Mumbles Mountain. Do you know and can you tell? What on earth my favourite smell? Okay, uh, sweaty gorilla feet was right? Yes, it was. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you have been? Uh, that is Mumbles. Um, so yeah, so um, on my channel I do a mix of uh, retro retread, I do backlog declog, I also play guitar uh, from time to time, uh, as well as Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Um, Actually, I'm going to go that way. Um, I also do occasional just random speedruns of like Banjo-Kazooie, Sonic Mania. Uh, I do Ocarina of Time randomizers, which are always great fun. I did one of those on um, on Thursday and I finally beat six hours. That was great fun. Um, let's now make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Hey, it's the eagle. Um, and... Uh, I'm also, at some point, I'm going to be starting up a third series, which is going to be um, called You've Never Played That, uh, which is um, uh, Lock up the treasure chest, yum yum the clown. Uh, no. I'm, I'm not paying attention to the questions. What's the leaking bucket's name? Uh, leaky. Uh, so yeah, um, the third series is going to be called You've Never Played It, which is for classic games that I've never played. Because any time we're having a conversation about a classic game with my friends, normally I say I've never uh, played it, and they all turn to me in unison and go, You've never played it? So I'm going to start a series called You've Never Played It, and I'm going to play games like uh, Call of Duty, Super Mario Bros. 3, Chrono Trigger, I've never played that. Apart from doing stupid rhymes, what's another of my pastimes? Okay. Yeah. 
Bubble Glip Swamp's giant egg. What's not inside you? You can even beg. Uh, an extra life. A giant plant in Click Clock Wood. How does it get water to make it wood? From a camel. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you have been? That's clankers, isn't it? I'm sure it's clankers. Because there's no pollution being dumped into the water in anywhere else like treasure trove, is there? That's um, Jolly Roger. I like a cuddle and a fight. What do I take to bed at night? Uh, sweaty baboon. No. Uh, why, why are all the KO questions and the Joker questions always grunty? Uh, she went to Cauldron College. I'm having the worst luck with those questions. Listen up now to make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? I believe that is an elephant that doesn't speak uh, clearly. That's Mumble Jumble. Treasure Troll's got a treasure hunt. How many X's, you little runt? Okay, I thought she was going to say something else there. Ow. The click Clock Wood, he's the king. What's the squirrel doing in spring? Uh, he's eating his nuts. Which is quite impressive. You have to be quite flexible to do that. Captain's Cabin in Rusty Bay. What's on the bed, Doovey, I see? Uh, I believe it's anchors. We're gonna do it, lads. Banjo, stupid grunty school. What was my name at Witch's School? Cauldron Butt. Yeah. Time. <laughs> no one can win. I was assured by the makers of this board. It's not fair. I want to win. How I long to be real thin. Now you can take the prize on show. Well, up the winding stairs I go. You won't catch me. I've made sure all the credits you'll now endure. You watched it. You can't unwatch it. Stay tuned for more Tales of Banjo Kazooie. What prize shall we take, Kazooie? Tootie's theme is grey, and I don't like that she never came back. How about that grotty, ugly thing? I think we should take Tootie. That's what I meant! Honestly, Kazooie is the best character in any video game ever, and I will fight anyone who says otherwise. I love that sarcastic bastard so much. Okay. Um, unfortunately, now we have to sit through the credits uh, because uh, I can't. Do, I don't know how to do furnace fun skip, so we have to sit through these, which is like five minutes. Um, but I'm hoping that we should. Four and a half hours is probably not doable now because I had a few, a few slips in Click Clock Wood, shall we say, and I died in furnace fun. But I did estimate five hours for this. So as long as uh, as long as we um, as long as we stay under that, as long as I don't go overestimate GDQ style, we're going to be all right. Um, in the meantime, uh, I'm probably going to run a quick ad because this feels like the perfect time to do it. So uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. And hello to those of you who are still around. There's David Brent. Banjo and Kazoo, Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie. So yeah. Sorry I missed all your Discord, um... Sorry I missed all your Discord uh, notifications. Alex, were you guys playing Among Us then? Were you, um... I, I haven't downloaded Among Us yet. Um, sorry for, uh... I, I don't know how to get notifications on my Discord for when you guys are chatting, because it doesn't show up on my phone. Uh, but yeah. 
Okay, so I think everyone's back now. Um, so yeah, uh, this is one of the reasons why I love Banjo Kazooie. Like compared to Mario 64, which was like two years before this, um, is every single character has its own dialogue, its own characterization, its own name, its own voice, its own personality. It's so good. I, I will try and tune in at some point, mate. Uh, uh, not tune in. I will try and join in to Among Us at some point. Uh, but you will have to take me slow because I've never played it before and I've hardly seen any footage of it. Um, so yeah, there are all, <laughs> like. Can you imagine if um, if uh, uh, Mario sixty four had a credit roll like this, where they were going off all the characters? It would be Mario, Peach, Bowser, Goomba, Koopa, and oh, hang on, Boo as well. Um, and that would be it. Instead, you get, I mean, come on, even the toilet has a name and a voice. How amazing is that? Oh, there's Mr. Yamauchi. That's really cool, actually, that um, uh, Hiroshi Yamauchi is still credited in the um, in the Xbox version of this. Chain Chomp, Lackey 2. Bu big Bully, Small Bully, yeah. Um, Pokey as well. Naughty. Such a brilliant name. I love all the puns in this game. I love the... the I love all the British humour in this. Even if some of the rhymes were designed for a Yorkshire accent, you can tell 100% that some of the rhymes in this were designed for a Yorkshire accent. Uh, like like the rhyming put and butt, which is only a northern thing. Look at his massive nuts! There she is. <laughs> Imagine being credited as a big cheese. Paper pusher. Um. So yeah, while I'm here, while we've got some stuff, I'm gonna I'm gonna plug my friend's podcast um, because they're playing Banjo Tui on stream within the next couple of weeks. Um, my friends do a podcast called Smash to Pieces. Um, they are doing, they've set themselves the challenge to play through and beat 90 games in a row for re one, representing one character in every, um, in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So they're doing, they're playing and beating one game for every single character in, um, in Super Smash Bros. It is a fantastic podcast. They started in the summer of 2018 when Ultimate got announced. Um, they have just completed their 30th of 90 games, which was Majora's Mask for Young Link. Um, they are starting, they started with Duck Hunt in the 1980s and they are finishing with Fire Emblem Three Houses for Byleth in 2019. It's a project that's going to take them several years, but they stream every single game they do, and they um, they put out a podcast to review every single game that they play. Um, and the the next game that they are doing, they, in the chronology, they have reached uh, uh, game number 31, which is Banjo-Tooie, uh, to represent Banjo-Kazooie, uh, because they already played Banjo-Kazooie um, a couple of years ago, put out an episode for that, so they're doing Banjo-Tooie for Smash to Pieces. Um, but I 100% recommend you guys check out that podcast. It's available everywhere, and um, uh, they are uh, such funny guys. They are so good, so good fun, such good fun. I can't even speak. Um, another one where we're at it. If you love your, um, uh, if you love your video game music, uh, they also do a podcast called Original Sound Chat, where they talk about two different, um, two different uh, game soundtracks every week. Um, and these could be uh, indie games, classics, um, uh, and they do a deep dive into the game itself, the composer of the soundtrack, and they pick their five critical tracks um, from every game. Um, they are both super podcasts and they deserve so many more followers and listeners than they're getting, so if, you, if you're if you a fan of video games, check out those two podcasts there. Um, give them a follow. Um, I cannot recommend them enough. Uh, these credits are long. Oh, hang on, we could skip them. What? Have I been able to do that the whole time? Oh, oh well, okay. Anyway, there we go. Four hours, 15, 100 jigsaws, 900 nose. <laughs> Unbelievable. Something in, the, something in my mind was telling me that because you couldn't skip the text in the Xbox version, that you couldn't skip the credits either. I was hammering buttons! 
I was hammering the buttons and nothing was happening. Uh, what's the fastest way? It's through um, it's, uh, through clankers, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that was... Uh, uh, apologies for that. We sat through the credits and I was plugging my friend's podcast when we could have been getting on with a speedrun. Apologies for that, folks. Uh, that's not the right way, is it? It's down here. Anyway, let's go face Grunty and let's get... Uh, <laughs> and let's uh, finish things off. And then I think we'll raid someone else, because th for the first time I've got uh, a decent amount of viewers uh, worthy of um, raiding someone else. So uh, so yeah, we'll find someone else to raid. But thank you so much for sticking around, guys. We've got... we've got. This is the most like steady number of viewers I think I've ever had. Because um, I've only got like 150 followers. Which, which is, you know, nothing to be sniffed at. I was so, so happy when I had 150. The fact that anyone wants to listen to this inane drivel um, is... Uh, <laughs> just blows me away. But hey. Dun, 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 don't fall in the lava. Banjo kazooie. Banjo kazooie. You're forced to listen to this at gunpoint. Well, you know, you 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 made your deal with the devil, Alex. I can't uh, <laughs> I can't be held responsible for um, for you selling your soul like that. You know, maybe if you face him in a fiddle contest, you might be able to uh, to watch someone else. The devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in the bag because he was way behind. He was willing to make a deal. I kind of want to play Guitar Hero 3 again, although I know for a fact that I would not be able to beat that, uh, that final boss. Such a, such a brilliant final boss. Soundchat OSC account... What? Soundchat OSC account doesn't exist. What? Oh no, it's... it's uh, sorry, I got it wrong. It's uh, Soundchat OST. Sorry, that is the correct URL. Sorry about that. Um, on uh, on They're on every podcast provider as uh, Original Sound Chat. Um, and they're on YouTube as well, so if you don't listen to podcasts, they are a YouTube show as well. Um, I think the links should be in the Twitter bio. Or just search on YouTube for Original Sound Chat and you'll find them. They've done so many, um, so many good episodes. They've done about 90 or so episodes by now. And um, they've done, they do best ofs as well, best ofs for the year. And they do, um... They do occasional interviewers with composers, so they did an interview with the composer of Bastion and Hades. Um, but yeah, they are they are superb. Uh, anyway, four hours thirty. I'm gonna quickly. I keep forgetting to bow whenever Banjo bows. Uh, uh, we've got. We need full eggs. By the way, um, when I was a kid, when I was like 12, 13 years old and I was speedrunning this game, I would get 100% in under 4 hours and that would include the Cheeto pages. Because I would, uh, not the Cheeto pages, just visiting Cheeto. Um, that's how good I used to be at this game when I was 12. Um, Thank fact achievements didn't exist back then. I mean, having said that, I was um, playing... I've only got 70, I need to get some more. Um, I was playing Guitar Hero Van Halen uh, like a week and a half ago to, um, to uh, commemorate the death of Eddie Van Halen. And that game has some of the most brutal achievements. Uh, it, that is That was marketed as the hardest Guitar Hero game of all time. And most of the achievements in that game involve getting five stars on every song, on expert, on every instrument. Which is pretty much... In, Pretty much impossible. Anyway, it is an absolute shame that uh, this song didn't make it into Super Smash Bros. But the um, the version that uh, the version that Grant Kirkhope and Family Jewels did, which I opened the stream with, is uh, is incredible. Anyway, ow. Yeah, and the other thing I don't like about achievements is when they're multiplayer, because I didn't get uh, an Xbox until 2011, and I got all the old Guitar Hero and Rock Band games, and a lot of the achievements involve online multiplayer. 
and of course the online for those games is dead because sequels came out. So, um, so a lot of games that have multiplayer only achievements, the achievements are impossible to get unless you can coordinate four friends together and you're able to all play well enough to not miss a single note. You know? Thanks for the offer, Shadow Wolf. I'm honestly not that bothered about uh, achievements anymore, particularly on Xbox, because I don't have an Xbox yet. I only have a 360. I don't have a 1. I may get a Series S or X at some point, but my next console is going to be a PS5. Uh, if I am, um, if I can find one, because they're all sold out. Oh, what am I doing? I need to shoot eggs at this point. I've completely forgotten how to fight this fight. I don't think they can remove achievements. I think once the game's got an achievement in it, that's it. Because otherwise you'd be deleting people's gamer score. Nice. I don't know I only got the 4 6 months ago and I wouldn't have bothered. Um, I was going to just, because I got a 4K television in August, which I wasn't expecting to get. That came, I, I just spotted a bargain. Um, I got a 4K television. And then um, I thought, okay, maybe I'll just get a PS4 Pro, uh, because those will be pretty cheap now, now that the PS5's coming out. But the PS4 Pro costs £415, and the PS5 is going to be 449 so I'm just going to sell my PS4 to a friend for a couple of hundred quid and then spend a couple more hundred quid on a PS5 um, and even if I don't get any PS5 games for it right away I can still play, uh, you know, uh, the Bioshock Trilogy, The Last of Us, all those other games, uh, Spider-Man and things like that uh, in 4K. And also the other reason why I wanted to get a PS5 is that uh, my favourite film of all time, Return of the King, is getting a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray release in December, along with the rest of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and I love the idea of having... Uh, and the PS4 Pro doesn't have a UHD Blu-ray 4K uh, disc player in it. So I'm going to upgrade to a PS5, and then I'm going to get the Ultra HD Lord of the Rings box set. Um, and, uh, and then um, that's why I'm going to get that. Ow! Yeah. Yeah, that flying section went pretty well. I'm actually surprised, and I wasn't even properly focusing on it. Maybe, maybe that's the secret: is to not, is to talk about uh, buying a PS5 and Lord of the Rings on Blu-ray at the same time. Um, that's fair, Reina. I, um, I, uh, that's exactly what I was going to do. I was going to wait. Like, I waited six years to get a PS4, and I waited like six years to get an Xbox 360. Um, because by then they've fixed all the problems. I mean, what if the PS5 has like a red ring of death or an equivalent? Um, but I just decided I'm going to take that chance because there's no point buying right at the end of a generation. Um, now, especially now I've, uh, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a poor student anymore. I've got an actual job and I can actually, you know, I have a bit of savings to put towards the PS5. Yeah. So, uh, Chrysopolis, you got 100% achievements on only one game and they ended up adding more. Yeah, DLC achievements are a thing, but I've never known of any game to delete achievements once they've been added. Because that's annoyed me on PS4 a couple of times where I've got the Platinum Trophy and I've got 100%, and then they add DLC trophies, and, um, and uh, it says you don't, you've got the Platinum Trophy, but you've only done 92% of the trophies. Oh, okay. I meant to, uh, I went to Wonderwind there and I talent shot it by mistake. <laughs> See, that's the other thing, Shadow Wolf, as you're right, is that all of my Rock Band DLC is on Xbox. Um, although, the reason I've never got an Xbox One and Rock Band 4 is because partly, A, I didn't want to buy an Xbox for one game. And also, I have the Ion Drum Kit which is only compatible with Xbox 360 and I don't want to spend £300 on a drum kit and have it be incompatible so I don't want to have to buy a whole new set of instruments for the Xbox One. 
So if someone can figure out a hack or like a, a thing to get the ion kits to work with the Xbox series or something or other, then I will get that. But to be honest, I'm happy with Rock Band Customs. You know, Rock Band 3 Customs have keyboards. So why would I upgrade to Rock Band 4? Anyway, uh, we're almost ready. I'm going to get ready for the, um, the final time. Four hours, 37 minutes. 22 minutes off my PB. Sorry, that was a bit anticlimactic. I was getting <laughs> just uh, randomly talking. Randomly talking about Xboxes and PS4s. But, um, but yeah. <sighs> so, I was under my estimates. Bearing in mind, this is the first time I've played Banjo Kazooie in six months. It's the first time I've played the Xbox version in a year. So I don't know any routing, uh, you know, I, can, I can't remember where any items are or anything like that. I kept missing notes, I kept ending up with 99 notes, uh, I kept dying. Uh, but I still managed to get under 5 hours and uh, yeah, within 20 minutes of my PB. I think if I put some serious effort into routing and things like that, or routing, I, I can't say routing, I'm not American. Um, that I could probably get under four hours if I was if I had a really good time. Um, but yeah, that's uh, it is. I started this at eight p.m. It is now uh, twelve forty-eight in the morning because I'm in I'm in the UK. If you couldn't tell by the accent, um, but uh, but yeah, that went pretty pretty. I, I I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Um, I do need to sort out some things. I mean, I managed to do Mr. Vile first time, which I was really happy with, because sometimes that takes me forever. Uh, I managed to not fall off the Bubble Glute Swamp Thin Walkway. That managed to do that first time, which never happens. Um, uh, what else was there? There were a few things that I managed to I, I, I won the Walrus Race first time. Uh, engine Room took me a few... I think I died twice on the Engine Room. Um... Uh, I fell off Click Rock Wood a few times. Uh, Mumbo's Mountain wasn't the smoothest. Treasure Trove Cove, I, I'd kind of lost my place. But most of it, I'm pretty happy with. I might do another Banjo Kazooie. Snowman's Legs, yeah. I um, The Snowman's Legs was the big one. Uh, I, for, I left the level before getting the Jiggy twice. For the snowman's like no no i died one time and then i left the level before collecting the jiggy so i had to hit the snowman's buttons three times because i'm a, I'm a for, forgetful idiot and yeah yeah she has she has some uh, some uh curiously placed melons there because the developers of rare are all like 17 year old boys <laughs> but yeah now we're getting the rest of the um stuff so yeah so I was faffing about a lot. When I did this last year, I um, I got... Uh, I wasn't even trying to get a PB, I was just trying to get a good time. I think I was aiming for, again, under 5 hours, and out of nowhere I managed to get a PB and get 4 hours 15, which was good enough to amazingly get me into the top 30 on speedrun.com for Xbox 100%, which I could not believe. I think I'm now number 40 on the list. For someone who's not a dedicated speedrunner, you know, I'm, I'm so, so happy with that. Um, but I think I could probably crack... Uh, I, I think I could probably get um, get sub 4. If I got sub 4 on this game, I would be so happy with that, and I'd probably consider that a nice achievement to sort of rest on. Um, so maybe I'll do it again in a, in a couple of months. I don't think I'll be... Um, I've, I've got other games to play. I've still got Bioshock Infinite to play. Um, I've got Pikmin 2 to play. I'm going to be doing that. That's my next retro retread game. Um, I'll hopefully be doing that uh, later this week. Maybe Tuesday. Because um, I now have a, a better capture card for capturing GameCube games. Uh, I got that last week and I need to set that up. So I'm thinking Tuesday will be on my next stream and it's going to be Pikmin 2 to celebrate the fact that Pikmin 3 Deluxe is coming out at the end of the month. Um, and then, yeah, I'll probably do Bioshock Infinite will be in my next Backlog Declog game because I've finished Bioshock 1. Uh, 
about a week and a half ago and apparently you don't really need Bioshock 2 to understand the story of Bioshock Infinite and that's the most important thing for me so I'll be going through that spoiler free if you're interested if you're um if you like what you see and you want to follow me for um future streams uh, and you're not following me on the Twitch already I also have a Twitter account at the same name twitch twitter.com slash dvd smith um, I also have a YouTube channel where I upload most of my streams and as well as random highlights and things. Uh, that's all linked in the in the channel notes. Um, but uh, <laughs> Pikmin is another game you can't watch me play. <laughs> are you? Um, are you? That that's the thing. I mean, if um, I will be doing Chibi Robo at some point, that is on my list of backlog games. Uh, if you look at my backloggery in the um, in my uh, channel notes, there's a link to that. In fact, again, backloggery.com slash DVD Smith. Um, I, I will take suggestions of games to play, um, but yeah, I will uh, I will do Chibi Robo at some point. I'll probably be the next retro backlog game. Actually, no, because another one that I want to do that I haven't got is Banjo Pilot. I, I've managed to get a copy of Banjo Pilot for the Game Boy Advance. It is the one Banjo Kazooie game I have never played, um, but that would be a good one because then I can finally say as a Banjo Kazooie fan that I have played all five. Um, but yeah, and then there'll be other PS4 games like uh, I did a podcast. Um, my, uh, I have a friend who does a podcast called It's Good Except It Sucks, uh, which is a Marvel podcast where he goes through every episode, everything in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, and uh, I recently recorded a bonus episode with him talking about uh, Into the Spider-Verse, which isn't in my MCU. Um, so whenever that comes out, which will probably be later this year, early next year, um, I'll play through Spider-Man PS4 um, to sort of commemorate that. Um, yeah, five Banjo games. You've got Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, Nuts and Bolts, Banjo Pilot, and the other Game Boy Advance game, Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge, which is a really good game. It's a short game, but it's a it's a it's it's a lovely little sort of handheld mid. It's it's, it's a mid quill. It's all about um, uh, Grunty is trapped under the rock. It's in. It takes place in between Banjo Kazooie one and two, uh, and Grunty is trapped under the rock and. I don't know who it is, but somewhat. But she manages to get her soul transferred into a robot, and she decides to travel back in time to before Banjo Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie meet, and make sure that they never meet, so that they can never get together and trap her under the rock. Um, uh, it's it's really really cool. I really like that game. Um, uh, if you ever get the chance, play Grunty's Revenge. It's short. It's relatively easy, but uh, yeah. But I think. Um, I'll probably probably play that on stream at some point as a retro retro game because that's the kind of game that you could play in one night um, and get through. But yeah, I also do Mega Drive games. I do uh, Nintendo 64, uh, GameCube, PS2, whole bunch of stuff. Um, another one like there's there's a few that I want to try again. Like I want to do Vice City Stories because that's a game that never made it to mobile. I thought I'd eventually play that game again when it made it to mobile, but it was the only PS2 Grand Theft Auto game that never made it to mobile, and that's a brilliant game. So I might do Vice City Stories at some point. I've also got Tomb Bay to play, or Tomb Bar, as Americans know it, uh, for PlayStation. Um, and I've got Lemmings 2 as well, uh, for Mega Drive. So there's a whole bunch of things. So many games and so little time. Uh, but I've got so many ones that I want to stream for you guys, because I love that people are tuning in and watching this. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, and this is the plug for Nuts and Bolts that was uh, the plug for Banjo-Tooie in the original. Um, anyway, I'm going to have a quick look and see who is live and see who we can raid. Uh, who do we have? Um, uh, okay, we've got a couple of choices. Uh, Princess Lazy is playing Costume Quest. We can raid her. She's got five viewers. So let, let's bombard her. I've never, I've never, I don't know Costume Quest, but uh, that should be an interesting one. So yeah, I think we're going to go and raid Princess Lazy because she, um, she tuned in for a whole bunch of my Spiral streams, uh, way back last year, and she's a, uh, she's really good. She's good fun. Um, so yeah, but um, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Thank you so much for the raid uh, to both Lost Fables and to uh, to Kim. I've forgotten your uh, surname, Kim. Uh, Kim Justice. Uh, that's awesome of you. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, if you like what you see, uh, obviously you know I'd love a follow. I'd love a subscription even more if you if you're that uh, that curious. Um, otherwise, yeah, follow me on Twitter, uh, follow me on YouTube. Um, I will be back on Tuesday with Pikmin Two, 
Uh, so, uh, I'm going to uh, finish up and then we are going to go and we are going to uh, raid Princess Lazy and uh, see how she's doing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, where are we going? Uh, okay, I'm just going to uh, go to my goodbye screen and then we're going to raid Princess Lazy. So, thanks everyone. Um, have a good night and I'll uh, maybe catch you, in another, catch you another time. So, cheers and goodnight.